If crying represents the baby's first impression of the world, then the name is the first gift they get when they come to this world. Some openings are good wishes, some are mischievous surprises, and some, are a piece of shit. I'm not saying my name is shit. Ning Yu, Yu Bai Balin, Yu Yu Kang Kang, and tulips all have good meanings, although I don't have to think about it when naming me, Mrs. Ning must be unhappy and unwilling. It was said that the name was still on the day of the account registration, and she had no choice but to take two seconds to get it. I'm glad she didn't give me names like Ning Yuvu and Ning Trash, otherwise it might be more difficult for me to walk in society. The reason why she hates me so much starts from a hundred years ago. One day a hundred years ago, the world was suddenly invaded by a new deadly virus. Darwin would never have imagined that it took humans millions of years to evolve from apes to Homo sapiens, and it took only a hundred years for them to be disrupted by a virus called C20. Because of the orderly evolution of human beings, C20 suddenly avoided the clear road and embarked on an unknown and rugged dangerous road. C20 virus is good at latent and has excellent drug resistance. It has swept the world in just a few months, and even the most advanced vaccine research laboratories in developed countries have nothing to do with it. After the rapid outbreak period, it kills humans with a strange law during the infection by C20, blood types A and O have complete immunity, blood type B has certain immunity, and other blood types are completely immune to failure. A blood type and special blood type died in large numbers, and now this world ravaged by C20 only has ABO blood type. And the virus is accompanied by mutation, and a series of atavistic beastization phenomena such as canine teeth, gonads, vaginas, and estrus have appeared in humans of each corresponding blood type. So far, in addition to using chromosomes and organs to distinguish gender, under the evolution of C20, humans have produced a set of ABO gender systems. In order to distinguish it from the traditional blood type, the ABO gender system corresponds to the only three blood types remaining, which are named Alpha, Beta, and Omega. To conclude that I am a Beta male. This can stimulate Mrs. Ning a lot. Blood type not only determines my social status, but also hers. The mutation enables beta both males and females to have the ability to conceive life, but this ability is very limited. After the fertility sac is used once, it is like a burst balloon, and it is difficult to persist until the next use, so usually we as mothers only have one child in our lifetime. My father is said to be a rich alpha, according to the laws of inheritance, I have a certain chance of being any of the four blood types. At that time, Mrs. Ning reached an agreement with the other party to let her in when she gave birth to a ORO. Mrs. Ning bet on her only chance to have children, the possibility of her future comeback, and she longed to have a precious son. But she lost the bet, I'm a jerk. There is a 25% chance that she will die if she gives birth to an ib, and I am the child she least expects to be born. To say that everything has its own contempt chain, B men should be the lowest level of discrimination against ABO blood type mediocre, useless, and lackluster. She has reason to hate me. But I always thought she wouldn't hate me. I was naive. You say it again, I, I didn't understand. I looked up in shock, and the silver spoon fell into the coffee mug, making a harsh thud. Ning Shi looked at me calmly, and repeated what I had just said as I asked. Mary Song Bailao. I stared at her blankly and didn't respond for a long time. Ten million. She didn't think there was anything wrong with what she said. The price can be negotiated. I opened my mouth and was a little speechless. After many years of no contact, she suddenly offered to meet me today, I thought this time would be different, I thought we would meet as a simple mother and a son, I thought she just wanted to catch up with me. In the end, what I thought did not happen, she asked me to marry as soon as she opened her mouth, and the object was Song Beilao. It's not about the price. Go find someone else, I'm not interested. I was about to get up and leave, she added again without haste, do you remember that child? You marry and I will tell you where the child is. I stopped because of her words. No matter how we fall out, 
I know my son Emma Ruomu, she really knows how to take my weakness and know how to poke people at pain points. For the past seven years, I have blurred all memories of the past, and I dare not even look at my body when I take a shower. With just one word from her, all my efforts were in vain. I looked at her, and she looked at me, and we were deadlocked for a while, and I finally sat back. I dragged the chair and asked her in a low voice, You, you make it clear, which child? Which child is there? Ning Shi faintly revealed a smile on the corner of her lips, as if she was winning, that wild seed you conceived seven years ago. A lingering excruciating pain occurred. I stared into her eyes, trying to see the lies. Mrs. Nai Ning's acting skills are superb, and she has always been a good player in manipulating people's hearts. I can't easily see through it. That's impossible. I unconsciously stroked my lower abdomen, and through the fabric, the scar burned my skin, as if it was about to burst open again, bleeding. I did conceive a child seven years ago, but the child was only five months old when I left my body. According to the current medical level, a five-month-old child is not incapable of survival, but he did not leave my body because of premature birth. Ning Shi and I are very clear about this. Nothing is impossible, Ning Shi said with the corners of her lips hooked, I kept him back then, it was as simple as that. If you want to see him, just do as I say, if you don't want to see him, just be I didn't say it, we can talk about the conditions separately. The subtext of this remark is that she will try to get me to not even if I don't feel comfortable with my child. She threatened me like this and said something that I don't know if it was true or not. If I was cruel, I should get up and leave immediately. But she really knew me very well, and knew that it was more than enough to deal with me if she only grasped this point. How can her scheming and shrewdness be right for her son, she treats me as an enemy. I took a deep breath, my voice trembling, Madam, I'm your son, I haven't seen each other for seven years, is this all you have to say to me when you meet? She stared at me silently for a moment, her eyes narrowed slightly, and a smile evoked, if you don't like this opening, then let's start over. How have you been recently? I don't like this opening either. I forced a smile, it's good. Really? She showed a playful expression, but I heard that your baker's license was revoked two years ago, is that good? To understand your definition of good dot. Today, she was very dazzling with her long hair up and a necklace of broken diamonds adorned with huge drop-shaped diamonds on her slender, white neck. She stroked the necklace habitually, so that others could notice her neck, and if they noticed her neck, they could find the hideous bite marks on the back of her neck. She always spends her energy on this useless thing, obsessed with pretending to be an Omega. But in the upper circles she cared about, those A and O with a keen sense of smell would not be deceived by her at all they would only pretend to talk to her, turn around and laugh at her and imitate her. But she did learn Omega's lofty tone very well. You investigate me. The tense atmosphere of the conversation made both of us laugh at the same time. You plagiarized Omega's work and were disqualified from the international cake competition, and then your baker's qualification certificate was revoked for beating up the contestants. I still need to investigate such a big thing? On the day you came back from France like a bereaved dog, Julie came to care me with your personal leave. It's gone. I curled my fingers, I didn't plagiarize, I. So what? She interrupted me with a sneer, no one cares about the process, adults only look at the results. Ning Yu, I have worked hard to raise you since I was a child, and I ask myself that I have never done anything wrong to you. Matter. Even if you are a beta, I still raise you carefully, send you to a famous school, hire a famous teacher for you, and wipe your when you are pregnant with a wild seed. What are you dissatisfied with? The last sentence can be described as deafening. Fragments of memory flashed through my mind. She dressed up every day, went out in various alpha cars, and then came home drunk, she cried and burned me with cigarette butts, and asked me why I was beta. She pushed me in front of Julie and asked me to call him brother, 
she throwing a stack of money in my face, saying I lost all her face, and telling me to get away as far as possible. Now she asks me what I am not satisfied with. No, I have nothing against me. I dig my fingernails on my palm, I'm very grateful that you raised me. Since there is no dissatisfaction, don't always show me your face. Ning Shi frowned slightly, she leaned back on the back of the chair, and returned to today's theme, I raised you so big, spent so much energy, now it's time for you to repay me. You marry Song Beilao, I will give you twenty million as a dowry, and tell you where the child is. How? In a trance, I felt like I was back when I was a child. At that time, Ning Shi always told me to call her Mrs. When others were around, so that she would buy me candy afterward. Even if I don't want to, I will still do it stupidly for the sweetness. Ning Shi has mastered the candy, and he has mastered me. I once thought that Ning Shi had lost her candy cane, and I would not rub it with her again. But times have changed, and nothing has changed. About the child, there is no evidence, how do you want me to believe you? I was silent for a while. She sneered and pulled out her phone, fiddling with it, and turned the screen towards me. When I saw a photo of a seven or eight year old boy on it, I leaned over excitedly to grab her phone, but she took it back first. She put the phone back in her bag, it only takes half a year, and I will bring him to see you in half a year. You are a beta, and marrying an alpha means nothing to you. A game Bailey's harmless wedding, after that, you can get money and fame that no one else can match, and even reunite with your children. Ning Yu, if I were you, I agreed half an hour ago. I bit my lip and my palms were sweaty, the figure of the child was in my mind. He was about the same age, and although he couldn't see his appearance clearly, he seemed to be a beautiful boy. Could it be that? Ning Shi really didn't deal with the child back then? I took a sip of the cold coffee in front of me, and it took me a long time to calm down, why me? Isn't Zhu Li a better choice? Ten years ago, I followed Ning Shi to Zhu's house. When I first met Zhu Li, I thought I had seen a fairy, he was the most beautiful Omega I had ever seen. The serious son of the Zhu family is also an Omega, why did they choose me? Could it be that Song Beilao still remembered the grudges in his student days and vowed not to marry Zhu Li? Then he should look down on me even more, after all, I have a bigger holiday with him. Zhu Li Ning Shi's face suddenly turned ugly, it was hard to imagine that her elegant red lips could spit out such mean words, after finalizing the marriage with the Xia family, that little going to a bar for a party, but the estrus came early and I was flagged by other alphas when I was confused in the toilet. I usually pretend to be decent, but in the end, I'm just a bitch. It seems that the war between the two of them is still fierce during the years when I was away from the Zhu family. It's hard for me to imagine that the beautiful and smart Zhu Li could make such a low level mistake. But I'm not even Zhu. Ning Shi disagreed, Song Bo Lao is also not surnamed Xia. He's the stepson of the Xia family. I'm not. Mrs. Ning has a beautiful appearance and a good conversation, and is very popular among the upper class. In the end, it took a lot of effort for her to find Zhu Yunchen's home. It's a pity that Zhu Yun's hung, like many alphas, gives everything, just doesn't give credit. Therefore, she is still famous and untitled, just Zhu Yunchen's lover. Ning Shi stroked her necklace naturally and smiled brightly, if you promise. Yun Sheng will marry me. I understand, I am her passport to marry into a wealthy family. She has worked hard for more than ten years, and she will never give up this hard-won opportunity. She will do anything to get me to agree to this marriage, threats and inducements are just her appetizers. If I don't agree, what will you do? I asked her tentatively. Ning Shi raised her eyebrows, obviously smiling but her eyes were cold, Ning Yu, since you asked, I won't go around in circles with you. Because of you, I have already missed an opportunity. If you screw up again this time and make it difficult for me in the Zhu family, don't blame me for being ruthless. 
You don't want to know what I'm going to do to you and your child. Don't, don't touch him. In just ten minutes, I completely believed her words about the child. I was terrified. I am afraid that Ning Shi has not treated him properly in the past seven years, and I am even more afraid that he will become the second me in the future. Of course, you are good, none of this will happen. Ning Shizu saw my face was wrong, and quickly softened her tone, What's wrong with Song Bo Lao? He doesn't mind. You are a beta, you can marry him, it is something that no Omega can ask for, you should feel lucky and know how to be content. I clenched my hands, and the violent beating of my heart almost burst through my chest. He won't marry me. Ning Shi said, but he agreed. My eyes widened in astonishment, stunned. The author has something to say, long time no see this article is a fantasy, and the private settings in the article have nothing to do with real biology. If there is original sin in this world, being human may be my original sin. I have a tattoo on my lower abdomen and on my lower waist. It was originally designed to cover the vertical incision wound by Ning Shi. She probably meant to get some flowers, grass, and cover the scar, but I secretly asked the tattooist to tattoo a scarier scar torn flesh, bright red texture, and messy rough stitches, as if someone was taking advantage of it. The sword pierced through the body. This is just naked against Ning Shi, she stared at my body angrily, slapped me fiercely, called me a non-enterprising trash, and then left me with nothing when I was left in front of a remote tattoo shop. If Liang Kaiu Yang, who also had tattoos in the shop, saw me pitifully and generously, I would have been sent to the police station by the tattoo shop owner on the grounds of overlord tattoos. Don't say Ning Shi can't understand, even I can't understand what I was thinking at that moment. I didn't really like that child, and I didn't think about giving birth to him, but when he really left, I couldn't let it go. Liang Kaiu Yang said that it may be because of my maternal instinct, I think he is wrong, it may just be my hypocritical. I hypocritically think that I should not forget. Tame me. I'm just one of thousands of foxes, no different. If you tame me, I'll be your only fox in the world. I adjusted the camera so that the lens could focus better below my shoulders. I'm sorry, I hurt my hand yesterday while cooking. I can't touch the water, so I can only be a broadcast anchor. I stretched out my hand and showed my left index finger to the few viewers behind the camera. Band-Aid on. The wound is at the knuckle, about two centimeters on the side, not deep, but there was a lot of blood yesterday. As a baker, I have to deal with the kitchen all day long, and I have to blame Song Bei Lao for all this. I have a habit of turning on the TV while cooking to make the room a little more popular. It's usually news and the like, and sometimes I watch some more noisy variety shows. Yesterday I was peeling a potato when I suddenly heard the three words Song Bei Lao from the news anchor. With a quick hand, the blade of the knife slid into the flesh. Fortunately, I received it in time. Stay strong, otherwise I am afraid that I will go to the hospital and go to the emergency room. I rushed into the living room and yanked a tissue to press the wound, and heard more in my ears. The head of the Xia family died of illness. As a stepson, Song Bei Lao inherited all the properties of the Xia family and became the youngest golden bachelor on the 10 billion rich list. No wonder the Zhu family is reluctant to let go of this fragrant bun and they have to get on this big boat with a replacement. It's just a small injury, just give me two days to heal. After being revoked as a baker two years ago, I have been broadcasting the cake-making process on a live broadcast platform called Amber. The popularity is not high, and I cannot compete with Amber's other popular game anchors. Then, but barely making ends meet. But a few years ago, because someone broke out that I had copied other contestants in the International Cake Contest, the popularity of the live broadcast room has been declining day by day. In particular, the victim soon also broadcast Live in Amber. Various creative events and art careers have always been the exclusive domain of Omega, and no one will believe a beta defense. Ning Shi is right, adults don't care about the process, everyone just looks at the results. 
In this world, if A is the king and O is the queen, then B is probably a servant who is only assigned to carry shoes. There are several comments on the scrolling message wall on the right side of the screen, all of which made me pay attention to safety. At the same time, the number of people in the live broadcast room began to decline. It still doesn't work. I'm a live streaming cake maker. I don't show my face, nor do I have any talent for funny. I have a bad reputation. Suddenly, I didn't make cakes and read children's books instead of killing myself. Tomorrow it seems that even if the hand is not good, the live broadcast will continue. Well, I will pay attention to safety. Then I will read. With a sigh in my heart, I turned another page of the book spread out on the table. One third of the storybook, I said goodbye to several online viewers and finished the live broadcast. After talking all afternoon, I was a little dry and went to the refrigerator to open a can of cold beer. After a few gulps, she returned to the computer desk with the can. I just opened the browser and browsed a few frequently visited websites at random, when a news window suddenly popped up in the lower right corner. Song Beilao, chairman of Xia Hung Group, may marry Zhu Li, the son of Zhu's wood industry, within this year. I was unprepared, my hand trembled, and the movement of sliding the mouse was too fast, knocking over the can. The bubbly liquor poured down instantly, spilling all over the keyboard. The news of the media is very accurate, Song Beilao, within this year, with Zhu's wood industry son, married are all correct, but the target is not accurate. It's not Zhu Li who wants to marry Song Beilao, it's me. The wine dripped down the table, I was stunned for three seconds before I realized it, then I quickly took out a tissue to wipe the keyboard and shut down the system. After tossing for a long time, I finally cleaned up the computer. I was going to fight tomorrow with an injury, but now I don't even have the tools to eat. On the second day, I cautiously pressed the computer start button with anticipation and anxiety. After waiting for a long time, the display screen did not respond, as calm as the endless dark sea in the middle of the night. It's really broken. I slumped my shoulders and sighed deeply. After lunch, I resignedly took the computer to the store for repair. The weather has not been very good recently. I checked the weather forecast before going out. It was cloudy with light rain. Since I started live broadcasting at home, I have gradually stopped going out, and I can't even find an umbrella at home. I looked outside the window except for the thick clouds, and it seemed that it would not rain for a while, so I gave up the idea of looking for an umbrella with a bit of luck. In the end, people were unlucky to drink cold water and stuck their teeth. As soon as I exited the subway entrance, I saw a lot of rain outside. Where is the light rain, it is clearly heavy rain. Fortunately, the gate of the mall is only 50 meters away from me. I put the notebook on my head and sprinted over without getting much. I kept slapping the raindrops on my clothes on the porch. The doorman not far away glanced at me, frowned and turned away. Feeling his dislike, I lowered my head and walked a little further. Almost everyone passing by on the road can't help but look at it. The doorman turned into a strange face, and greeted him with an umbrella with a flattering smile. A young woman stepped out of the car slowly. On such a cold day, she only wore a thin dress and a cashmere coat. The umbrella was too low to see her appearance, and she seemed to be holding a small child in her hand. It looks like an Omega, which rich wife should be. The more people there are, the more nervous I get. Living away from the crowd for the past two years has gradually made me unwilling to be in contact with people. It's just, it's just splashed with water, and it can't be turned on today. I finally told the clerk what I wanted. He checked my computer and said it could be repaired, but the wait time was a bit long, three or four hours. It's good if you can fix it. When I heard that it could be repaired, I was really relieved. I can still afford the repairs, but if I buy a new one, it's really hard. Then you can pick it up again in the afternoon. The clerk gave me a note to pick up the machine in the afternoon. Thanks to the clerk. After I left the specialty store, 
I went to a ramen shop to eat a bowl of plain noodles. I went to the mother and baby area for some reason. The mother and baby area is very quiet, not to mention the special children's play room, but also set up two VIP rooms, pulling the curtains are mysterious, I think it is for those who don't want to shop with the betas prepared by Omega. It is said that everyone is equal, but the details of inequality can be seen everywhere in life. I touched a small pink dress and thought seriously about what size should a seven-year-old wear? It seems that there are only baby clothes here, should I go to the children's clothing section? I don't know if the kid is an alpha, an omega, or a beta. The next time you see Ning Shi, you have to ask carefully, otherwise it will be difficult to pick a gift for him. Does the guest need any help? It may be very suspicious to see me in a daze, which attracted the attention of the salesperson. I waved my hands awkwardly, no, no, I'll take a look. As if afraid of the salesperson chasing after me, I quickly walked out of the mother and baby area without looking back. Maybe I drank too much noodle soup at noon, and the urge to urinate came suddenly. I walked around the mall and searched for nearly ten minutes before I found the men's bathroom in a hidden corner. During the release, I always felt weird, but I couldn't tell how weird it was, like someone was staring at me. There is a mirror in front of each urinal. The mirror does not reflect other people behind me, but completely reflects my messy hair that is about to cover my eyes, and pale bluish complexion. No wonder the doorman looked at me with such disgust, like a vampire who hadn't slept in 800 years. Laughing at myself for being careless, I trimmed my hair, zipped up and turned back. A little boy looked at me blankly. I clutched my beating heart and almost couldn't help screaming in horror. That line of sight was not my illusion, there was someone looking at me from behind. It took me a while to calm down and my heartbeat returned to normal. During this period, the other party maintained the same expression and posture, and he was panicked. I squatted down and asked him, why are you looking at me silently? The little boy stared at me with in white eyes, expressionless on his face, as if he did not understand my words. Where's your mother? He still ignores me. I thought he was hearing impaired and snapped my fingers very close to his ear. He blinked sharply, clearly audible. I wanted to look outside to see if there were any of his parents, and after scanning the circle, I found that the surroundings were very empty, not even a figure. Turn around again, startled again, he followed me out, and stuck close to me, one hand grabbed the hem of my shirt. I picked him up. Whose child are you? Do you know where your mother is? The child is as beautiful as a porcelain doll, and he doesn't even react like a mortal. If it weren't for his warmth and softness, I would have to wonder if it was an artificial AI implanted in the program. Do you know your mom or dad's phone number? I took out my phone and asked the other person with no expectations. I didn't expect that this time the little boy's eyes suddenly moved and he reached out to the phone. Did you think of something? I hurriedly gave him the phone. He held the phone in both hands, pressed a series of numbers slowly and unskillfully, and returned the phone to me. Is that your parent's number? I asked him. The little boy looked at me like an ice sculpture and a snow sculpture. I sighed and dialed the number on my phone. It took a long time for the call to be connected and a polite young female voice came from the opposite side, Hello, who is it? Uh, I found a child, did you lose it? The opposite side was silent for a moment, and the female voice became indifferent, I'm not married yet, how can I have children? I'm very busy to cheat money to find someone else. After that, I hung up the phone, and no matter how much I called the other party, I would not answer. She said she has no children, didn't you give me your mother's mobile phone number? My question was destined to be unanswered, the little boy sat quietly on my arm, except for blinking, a picture his face seemed to be condensed, and there was no emotional fluctuation. What can I do? Just as I was at a loss, thinking about handing him over to the service desk in the mall, the child suddenly stretched his arm and pointed to a sign above our heads. I took a closer look. 
In addition to the location of the elevator toilet, it also marked the location of a commercial building adjacent to the mall. When I came last year, the commercial building was still in the final construction. It is said that it was bought by a large company to be the headquarters building. Now that a year has passed, someone should have settled in the office long ago. Where do your parents work? I asked casually, but this time the other party nodded. Although the movement range is small, it is true that he nods his head up and down. Having a clear goal makes it easier for me. Then I'll take you to them. At the time, to be honest, in addition to running away, I have completely forgotten my original intention. How could it be so coincidental that this building was bought by Xiaosheng to make it a new headquarters? This used to be the Xiaosheng of the Xia family. Not long ago, it became Song Beilao's company. The Song Beilao that I will marry soon. Fate is really a wonderful thing. In the past seven years, I have not heard about Song Beilao even once, nor have I seen him anywhere. But since agreeing to Ningxi's request, it's like turning on some evil fate switch, and suddenly this person is everywhere. The security guard at the door saw me standing stupidly and didn't want to go in, so he came to ask, Who are you looking for, sir? I woke up, Oh I'm looking for. I'm looking for this child's parents. There are thousands of employees in the company. The security guard looked suspiciously at the little boy in my arms, and suddenly glared, Oh, isn't this little young master? I was also shocked, Little, little master. Can be called Little Master by Xia Sheng's security. I didn't have time to think further, but the other party enthusiastically pulled me by the arm and pulled me through the door to the front desk. The young master is here. Two young girls sitting at the front desk looked at me in surprise. One said, Assistant Li said that today the new nanny will bring the young master to find the boss. Are you the new nanny? It turns out to be a man. The other said, I'll take you up, come, follow me. I want to say that I am not a new babysitter, but the problem of being nervous when there are more people makes me temporarily in a state of aphasia, I can only follow their instructions like a wooden man, and my mind is blank. The lady at the front desk swiped her card and took us through the gate, and then took the elevator that also requires card swipe. Press the button on the 28th floor, the highest floor, and the car is silent. You. When they reached the tenth floor, the other party suddenly made a sound. The other party was taken aback by my reaction and was a little embarrassed, I want to say that Mr. Song may be in a meeting, you have to wait for him in the office for a while. Mr. Song. Where does Xia Sheng have a second surname Song who dares to call him general? It's Song Beilao. A look of surprise flashed in the eyes of the lady at the front desk. Why are you sweating so much, are you uncomfortable? I am quite uncomfortable. At first I thought I could, but now I realize I can't. I could even hear my teeth rattling up and down in fear, and the constant trembling kept me from uttering a word. The elevator dinged at this moment, and the 28th floor arrived. Please. The front desk blocked the door for me and let me go first. The closed space that came out had the door locked but judging from the furnishings, it should be Song Beilo's office. The whole floor is very quiet, and the sound-absorbing effect of the fleece under your feet is very good. She frowned, I'm sorry, I have something to do here. You can wait here for a while, you can pick up the drinks and fruits on the bar by yourself. I'll go first. Hello. I took a few steps back, trying to stop her and tell her not to leave but the other party was so focused on communicating with the colleague on the other end of the headset that he didn't notice me at all. The elevator door closed relentlessly in front of my eyes, I stared blankly for a moment, sighed, put the little boy in my arms on the ground, and let him move freely. With you. After I finished speaking, I wanted to slip away, but the pants on my thigh were pulled from behind before I walked a few steps. I looked back. The child was clutching my pants tightly, and I could see a little reluctance on his blank face. My dear, I'm really leaving. It was a child, I easily broke his hand. 
but after a few steps, he grabbed me again. We were like a tug of war, he dragged me, I dragged him, trying my best not to let the other party wish. Just as we were entangled, there was a ding-dong sound, and I was shaking all over by the sound, and looked stiffly towards the direction of the elevator. The elevator door slowly opened, and a tall man with a black bite stop covering his lower face gradually appeared in front of me. The bangs were fixed with hairspray and combed to the back of the head, revealing the entire smooth forehead, which made the eyes especially deep. He was wearing a suit with his hands in his trouser pockets. Just looking at him like this, the words shocking flashed in my mind unconsciously. Literally, when I saw him, my heart skipped a beat. When he saw my face, he squinted for a moment, and after a few seconds, he finally found my image from the corner of his memory, his brows gradually loosened, and the tip of his brow raised a familiar face, a casual arc. It's you. I haven't seen you in seven years, he may have forgotten my name long ago. No, he never took it seriously. Okay, long time no see. I pretended to be calm and stretched out my hand, Song Beilao. The author has something to say, the word Bo is pronounced by as a surname and Bo is a first name. I opened Pandora's box and let myself fall into despair. Song Beilao ignored my outstretched hand. He put his hands in his trouser pockets with a very arrogant attitude, What are you doing here? There should be two months before our wedding date. I am so embarrassed that I don't know what to do, if there is a hole that leads directly to the first floor now, I will jump in without hesitation, even if I am shattered. I... I looked at him stupidly, my throat tightened and he hesitated. Sometimes I really hate myself, I have so much in my heart. Why do I become clumsy when I want to say it? Suddenly, Song Bei Lao narrowed his eyes and saw the child behind me. Song Emo? Why are you here alone, where is your nanny? He frowned, his expression a little bad. Song Emo seemed to be very afraid of him. He didn't have the kindness that his son had when he saw his father. Instead, he squeezed behind me. I found his in the mall next door. I took out my mobile phone and hurriedly called up the call log, he gave me a phone number, but after calling, the other party thought I was a liar, I hung up again. I didn't mean to appear in front of you. The last sentence became softer and softer, and it was almost inaudible by the end. Ah! The woman who had been following Song Beilao, wearing thin-rimmed glasses and dressed as a secretary, suddenly exclaimed, I did receive a call just now. Sorry, President Song. The words of the female secretary confirmed my statement. Okay, shut up. Song Bei Lao frowned and interrupted her. The other party immediately closed his mouth and lowered his eyebrows uneasy. Song Bei Lao had a bad temper in the past, and it seems that he has not improved for so many years. Since it's delivered, then I'll leave. After saying this in a hurry, I walked up to press the elevator door. But Song Emo was still pulling at the hem of my clothes, preventing me from walking freely. This made me a little embarrassed and a little embarrassed. Young master, come to me. But soon, Miss Secretary hurriedly walked over and picked him up, allowing me to escape. I nodded gratefully at her, turned and walked towards the elevator. Aren't you very proud that you have been taught to succeed after all these years? As soon as my index finger touched the elevator button, Song Bei Lao's indifferent and sarcastic voice came from behind. No response, I closed my eyes and pressed the button hard. His voice continued, don't be too complacent. All I want is to marry with the Zhu family. It makes no difference to me whether I marry you or Zhu Li. I won't let him have a baby. If you give birth to my child, you will naturally not be born. No wonder he was willing to switch from Omega to Beta, and no wonder MRS Ning found me. There is no difference between Omega and Beta for him, and there is no difference for the Zhu family. What they want is not the prince and princess live happily ever after, but only the interests of the two families, a form. When you think about it, it all makes sense. But he doesn't have to worry about it, 
even if he asks me to give birth to me, I can't give birth to me, I don't have that ability. Ding! The elevator finally arrived after I kept praying in my heart. I couldn't wait to go inside, but a young girl rushed out of it and almost collided with me. She was very young, in her early twenties, wearing a fitted brown dress, her coat draped between her elbows, and a vinyl bite collar around her neck. She was an Omega. It's not good, Mr. Song, Momo is lost. She was about to pounce on Song Bei Lao in a panic, and there was a hint of crying in her voice, but just halfway through, she suddenly caught a glimpse of the secretary's arms out of the corner of her eye. Song Mo's eyes widened like a ghost. Momo, why are you here? I've been looking for you for a long time, you. Did you find it yourself? I remember her dress, at the entrance of the mall, the doorman held an umbrella for her. It turns out that my first meeting with Song Mo was not in the toilet. The appearance of the girl interrupted my pace, but only for a moment, and then I stepped into the elevator faster. Because I couldn't bear the slow closing speed, I even reached out and pressed the close button continuously, hoping it would close instantly. I didn't look up at Song Bei Lao, but I could always feel a fierce and unkind gaze staring at me. Like a beast, it makes people tremble. Finally, the elevator door gradually closed, blocking that line of sight. Originally Song Mo wanted you to be his nanny. Since you can't do it, you don't have to do it. Song Bei Lao's voice was shut out of the door, and he was sullen before the elevator went down. Come in. As soon as the elevator reached the first floor, I almost trotted out the door. After going to the mall to get back the repaired computer, I took the subway home without stopping. In the gently swaying car, pulling the armrest, I stared at the reflection projected on the black window, and my thoughts gradually returned to ten years ago. Ten years ago I followed Ning Shi to Zhu's house. The Zhu family started out in the wood industry. When Zhu Yunzhong entered the investment circle, he had precise vision and outstanding skills. He made a lot of money and became a famous luxury family in Xiangtan in just a few years. Zhu Yunzhong has many assets and is also one of the school directors of Shangshan, a famous private high school. This high school has expensive tuition fees and only accepts excellent alphas and omegas, so I can't get in. Mrs. Ning blows some charming pillow wind and I was unexpectedly admitted. Got it. However, even if Beta is squeezed into the upper circle, it is not the laughing stock of noble people. Ning Shi is like this, so am I. They see me as an alien, bacteria, that invade their territory. My existence is like a joke, defying the rules of this society and breaking the strict hierarchy of ABO. A lowly Beta, even delusional to join the AO. I often can't find my textbooks, they are either thrown in the flowers downstairs or in the trash. And no one wants to sit and eat with me, as if my germs would pass to them through the table benches, and just eating at a table would turn them into stupid betas. I became an invisible person in school, no one communicated with me, not even a glance. I begged Ning Shi more than once to let me transfer to a school suitable for beta, but she mercilessly rejected it. She doesn't care if I'm having a good time at school, she just needs me to dress her up. The Weirdo on the Backcountry Trail That day I went to the chemistry laboratory alone, and I walked around the back of the teaching building with my textbooks in my arms. When I was halfway there, there was a noise from outside the wall, and a tall figure came in from the top of the wall. Fell steadily in front of me. This person was Song Bei Lao who had skipped two classes in the morning and didn't know whether to fool around or simply oversleep. As now, he wears a bite stop made of black metal on his face, which means he is a fully developed alpha. Alphas are almost synonymous with power, power, and dominance in this society, and in my memory, they are my mother's constantly changing lover. Even if I don't get ostracized by the whole school, I would never want to get involved with an alpha. So I stepped back cautiously and instinctively wanted to stay away from him. The movement of his school uniform jacket tossed him for a while, but he noticed me. Beta. 
I don't know if he was simply surprised that Abeda appeared in Shangshan, or just like everyone else, there was a sense of unhappiness about the territory being violated. Or both. I lowered my face and said very consciously that I didn't see anything. Get out of the way. He rubbed my shoulder and left in the opposite direction, without even giving me an extra look. Beta is called the cornerstone of society, but a lot of times, in Ao's eyes, we are no different from the roadblock. I stood there for a while, and when I lifted my foot again and walked forward, I suddenly found a shiny collar button where the other party had jumped down, reflecting the sunlight. I once asked him why there are different collars. He said that this is an honor collar that only the top three of the grade can have every year. Only those who are good enough can get it. The sword and the white dove represent the school motto advocating peace. But has the power to protect itself. Although Song Beilao is addicted to skipping classes and likes to mess around in school, he is indeed an outstanding alpha. I thought it was something important and picked it up. I gave it to Zhu Li at night, and wanted him to return it to the other party on his behalf. As someone who also has a collar, I subconsciously think that the two of them should know each other, and the relationship may be good. In hindsight, I was naive again. When Zhu Li saw the collar button, and listened to me repeating the situation that day, her expression became a little subtle. It should be Song Beilao, only he will skip class among the alphas with the batch. He suddenly asked me, Do you know the Shrike? I was taken aback and shook my head. He was playing with the silver buckle in his hand, the Lao of La Yanfanfei refers to this kind of bird. The Shrike is a very ferocious carnivorous bird that likes to hang its prey on thorns to share food, and sometimes prey on the same kind. If I say that Song Bei Lao didn't choose a good name, it's too fierce, that's why his parents fell apart. Zhu Li told me that Song Bei Lao's father was Luo King He, a male alpha, and his mother was a male beta, and his song surname should come from his mother. Like many famous families, the Luo family, as a wealthy family in Xiangtan, does not look down on a beta daughter-in-law at all. Luo King He finally united with his lover by falling out with his family. After their marriage, they soon had Song Bei Lao, which was considered a happy family. It's just that the good times don't last long, and Luo King He's family didn't want to let them go. Since it doesn't make sense, just don't talk about it and just play yin. They tricked Luo King He home and locked him up with an Omega in heat. That Omega is the only son of the big Chabal Xia family, named Xia Qiao, and has some similarities with Luo King He. He was married and had a child, and the other half was also Beta. It's just that the other party died young and was gone many years ago. Alpha is a passive estrus physique, an omega in estrus, a cramped room, full of pheromones enough to drive Luo King He to estrus along with him. The two were locked up for three days and three nights, and when they were released, they had already marked each other irrevocably. Luo King He's canine teeth and Xia Qiao's gonads exchanged their respective pheromones. From then on, they will carry each other's breath and will never have with others. This is a contract concluded between Ao, protected by law, on top of Beta's rights and interests. In depth speaking, it can also be called one of the reasons why the marriage of Ab and Bo is always unsustainable. In this world, no one takes the pain of Beta to heart. Luo King He soon divorced that Beta and married his own Omega. Song Bei Lao has since lost his mother and lived under the same roof with his father, stepmother, and an unrelated Omega stepbrother. Zhu Li blamed all this on Song Bei Lao's name, which is probably another big difference between Omega and Beta thinking. If it wasn't for the arrogance in their bones, they couldn't accept Luo King He's union with a Beta, Song Bei Lao wouldn't have to lose his mother, and that Beta wouldn't have to suffer the pain of losing his lover and son. But there is one thing Zhu Li is right, Song Bei Lao is indeed a ferocious shrike. In the more than a year since then, I have verified this view countless times. The author has something to say, the bite stopper looks like the one worn by dogs, and there are other styles, but Song Bei Lao is the basic one. The white moonlight in your youth? No, it's horse urine in the gutter, an unavoidable existence. 
Add this purple coloring to the cream frosting, don't stir it too well, fill it into a piping bag, choose number 101 flower tip. The computer was repaired, and the wound on my hand gradually healed. I quickly resumed the live broadcast on Amber, after all, I didn't have much savings to spend. The audience's speeches popped up one after another on the screen. Because there were not many people, I responded one by one. Yes, this is lilac, the flower language of lilac. It seems to be first love. I picked up the pink roses I made earlier and placed it with the lilac I just made, okay. Coincidentally, the flower language of pink roses also has the meaning of first love, otherwise today's cake will be called the girl's first love. I can express my point of view very clearly and fluently without having to face a living person, and I can even make a joke sometimes. Do I take my name casually? That's because you haven't seen my mother, she's more casual. Amber is a live broadcast platform that charges by time. The more viewers in the live broadcast room and the longer they stay, the more impressive my income will be. Liang Kaiyu Yang once joked that this is the parking lot system of shopping malls. Stores use various means to retain customers, and the profit of parking lot will be higher. The two complement each other in order to promote the expansion of the market. My store is getting worse and worse, maybe it will be eliminated in the near future, and the store will be given to more popular anchors. In the days when I can live broadcast, I cherish the moment, and always be more tolerant to the remaining audience. Even if they ask me questions unrelated to the content of the live broadcast, as long as it is not illegal, I will answer. My first love. I made a smooth framing movement, and after a while it returned to normal, I don't have a first love. My answer did not satisfy the questioner, who apparently thought I was perfunctory. Liar, how is it possible? What about the first night? Are you still a virgin? The other party does not feel that such words have caused sexual harassment to me. Why am I answering such a personal question? No. Thinking so. I answered the other person vaguely, and then quickly brought the topic back to the right track, these lilacs should be tighter, don't leak the base, and then make some separate flowers, which can be scattered next to each other, and it will be more natural and vivid when making flowers. But obviously the other party did not give up easily. When I was explaining, he sent the same sentence several times, as if he was afraid that I would not see it. What kind of person is your first night object? Some people are just like that, have a strong sense of prying into the privacy of others, and never feel disrespectful. But whoever said that the other party is one of my few customers, the business is already deserted enough, if I lose him again, my income this month will be even more terrible. It's. I considered it for a while, and then slowly spit out two words, bastard. After finishing the framing of the cake, my live broadcast is over. If you have any questions, you can leave a message in my Amber space, and I will try my best to answer it for everyone. I waved to the camera, OK, see you tomorrow. The number of people in the live room dropped little by little, I quit the program and turned off the computer. Unfastening my waist, I stretched a lot, loosening my stiff muscles. I was planning to clean the cooking table next, when the doorbell rang suddenly, and it was very fast, one after another, like a reminder. This method of ringing the doorbell is so recognizable that I already know who is outside the door before I open the door. Why are you so slow? Sure enough, as soon as the door opened, Liang Kaiyu Yang, wearing sunglasses, squeezed in. I failed to complete my high school studies. After I graduated from high school, I left the Zhu family and Ningxi to seek a living in the society. The money Ningxi gave me was not too much. I used a little less. I couldn't rent a very good house, so I could only find a rental house that I needed to share with others. After looking around, I took a fancy to the two-bedroom apartment in the Ones Leave building. I called and made an appointment to visit the door. The owner who came to open the door was Liang Kaiyu Yang. We were both impressed by the tattoo shop, 
but we didn't expect the fate to be so deep that we could meet again if we just rented a room. He was very satisfied with me, and I was very satisfied with his house. It hit it off and I lived there for almost seven years. Although Yang Kaiu Yang is an Omega, he is cheerful, innocent, and carefree, completely different from those of Shang Shan. I found out later that his parents were both Betas. Why are you here all of a sudden? He used to live under the same roof with me, and they were busy with each other in the past few years. He was an entertainment anchor in Amber, and I was an apprentice in a cake shop. Later, I was revoked as a baker. Seeing that I was struggling, he invited me to develop at Amber, saying that there are not so many rules for teaching people to make cakes online. I tried it and felt that it was quite suitable for me, so I stumbled and did it. Different from me, Liang Kaiu Yang sings well and has a beautiful person. During the live broadcast, his words are humorous and humorous. In the past few years, his popularity has risen steadily, and he is the golden sign of the platform. Last year, he was poached by a brokerage company and paid a large amount of liquidated damages, intending to let him enter the entertainment industry. He moved out of here half a year ago to do Pradeo training, and I haven't seen him for a long time. As soon as I closed the door and turned around, I saw Yang Kaiu Yang taking off his sunglasses, standing not far from me, staring at me with his arms crossed. In an instant, I had some bad premonitions in my heart, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why didn't you tell me what happened to you? He stared at a pair of almond-shaped eyes and frowned. I knew immediately why he came. In the six months since he left, I have been kind to others, and there was something worthy of his anger. I smiled dryly, you said that I was deliberately revealed? There is nothing to say. You're going to be mad as a mother. They've all run in on your head, you're nothing. You. He was furious and pointed at me for a long time, probably seeing that I was too rotten to carve, sat down on the sofa angrily, but stopped talking. I stood there and dared not answer casually, so I went to the kitchen to pour him a glass of water and brought it to him. Slapped the armrest of the sofa vigorously, and was already ready to rise up. I think when I was a brother in Amber, who dared to touch you, and you were bullied like this as soon as I left, it's really bullying. I want to start a live broadcast and scold Chong Zing's and He Xiang Ping's pair of sluts, watch the old lady not tear them apart. He is about to run to my room, how dare I let him go? If I let him start a live broadcast today, maybe he won't have to debut, just wait for the money to accompany the brokerage company. I hugged his waist and didn't let him move, don't, don't, if they can manage Su Myron well, they can be demons. Liang Kaiu Yang couldn't get rid of me, so he yelled in anger and hammered me several times on the shoulder. We were both out of breath by the time he vented enough. Okay, I won't start the live broadcast, you let me go. He pushed my shoulder. I carefully released him and slowly straightened up, calm down. He sat back on the sofa, still a little uneasy, you are too bullying. Let's not talk about that idiot Chong Zings, why does Xiang Ping treat you like this? You and his brother Junior and brother, you didn't owe him anything. The old man planned to match you up to let you take over Su Myron. As a result, he not only teamed up with outsiders to trick you in the game, but you all hid on the internet to broadcast live. He still doesn't let you go, and if you want to make you unable to do live broadcasts. What are you doing? Didn't the old man die of illness? How could he act like you have a revenge for killing your father? The money Ning she gave me will run out sooner or later, I can't just sit still. By coincidence, I accidentally saw the poster of Sue Myron Cake Shop recruiting apprentice bakers. I applied for the job with the mentality of giving it a try, but I was recruited unexpectedly. It was the owner of the cake shop who interviewed me, my future master Xiang Hung Fei. He asked me three questions in total, do you like to eat cake? How old is this year? What is your name? After asking, let me come to work tomorrow. If it weren't for Sue Myron's famous brand, and it has been open for decades, 
I would have thought that I had encountered a liar. After that, I stayed at Sumiran for five years. Sumiran is a cake shop and the name of my wife. Everyone said that my master was an affectionate man, and when opening a cake shop, he would use the name of his deceased wife to commemorate her. I also think he is a very good person. He is usually kind, but he is strict when teaching his skills. It's just that they treat everyone equally, and often scold their own sons in front of us. Xiang Ping is master's only son. Strictly speaking, I want to call him senior brother. His talent is not good, and he refuses to study hard. Master is often angry for this son. For a while, I even came up with a bizarre and bad idea to match the two of us. It's just that before I could decline, Xiang Ping, who was also aware of my father's intentions, rejected the proposal more fiercely than me. At first I thought he didn't like me, but then I realized that he was not interested in Beta. Chongzing's is even more cheap, and dares to go to Amber for a live broadcast as the champion of the international cake competition. Is there no reason for his first place? This green T.O. I blurted out at this moment, and we both stood there in a daze. Liang Kaiu Yang had an angry expression just now, but now he is staring at me like hell. You're, you're getting married. When he said this, he crossed several vocal ranges. I was so close to him that my ears couldn't stand it, and my body quietly leaned back. Hmm. Liang Kaiu Yang frowned, hmm. I've only been away for half a year and you're going to get married. He said in a hurry, Ayu, did you meet something online? Bad person? Who are you marrying, you dead house who doesn't go out all year round? Sometimes he is more like my mother than Ning Shi, and he is very worried. Thanks to him over the years, I am not really alone. Marriage is such a big deal, I can't hide it from him, Song Beilao. It's that Xia Sheng's. Liang Kaiu Yang blinked and instantly matched the person and name, that golden single alpha. I thought about it, and the outside world seemed to call him that, so I nodded. It's him. I didn't mention Ning Shi's persecution to him. After all, I have received a lot of care from him in the past seven years. Now is a critical period for his career. I don't want to cause him any more burdens because of my own affairs. How did you and him hook up? But I didn't mention it, it doesn't mean that Liang Kaiu Yang is not suspicious. This is really incredible, and I don't believe it. I smiled at him, and said without confidence, it's, a blind date. Liang Kaiu Yang took out his ears, what? I looked away and raised my voice, my mother asked me to go back for a blind date a while ago. I met him at a blind date dinner. He has a five-year-old child, and he wanted to get married early, just as I can't do live streaming anymore, so I agree. I've been wandering outside all these years, you know how tired I am. If there is a place where I can stop and rest for a while, it was a lie at first his, when it comes to the back, he has two sincere feelings, if there is such a place, I really want to go. Liang Kaiu Yang seemed to be stunned by me stunned for a long time, and chose to believe my words. I also sighed that Ning Shi, a good mother, was not bad at home. After many years, I found out that I finally knew that I was thinking about my lifelong event. But he still has concerns, he is worried that Song Bei Lao will force me to have a child, so that the secret of my infertility will be discovered. It's okay, he... The disgust Song Bei Lao said that day when he said that I would not give birth to his child flashed through my mind, and the smile on his face was almost unstoppable, he doesn't mind. Male beta birth is not easy, he understands. Liang Kaiu Yang heaved a sigh of relief, that's good. These should be made clear before marriage, lest he trouble you with these trivial matters. He sat for a while, then was called back by the manager. His debut is imminent, his training class is full every day, and he still skipped class today. He put on his sunglasses, got up and walked out, I'm bored, go to class all day long. I took him to the door, just about to close the door, he suddenly turned around. 
remember to send me an invitation. He looked at me, and without warning, stood on tiptoe and rubbed my head, I was worried about you for my mother, but now I know if you want to marry into a wealthy family, you can be relieved. Let's ignore that pair of sluts, they have their own way, so you can wait for the marriage in peace. He's so gullible, I almost feel guilty. I nodded and said, well, be careful yourself. After Liang Kaiyu Yang left, the room became quiet again. Girl's first love was still placed on the piping table. I wiped off the cream on it and poured it into the kitchen waste machine. I also broke the foam cake embryo for practice and threw it into the trash can. Afterwards, wash the used piping tips and cooking bowls one by one, drain them and store them in the cupboard. By the time all this was done, it was already an hour later. The sky turned from bright orange to deep black, and the smell of various cooking dishes began to drift in from the window. Since Liang Kaiyu Yang moved out, I haven't been a big cook. I usually order takeaways. Occasionally I make some simple food, such as quick frozen dumplings, or vegetable noodle soup. I just went to the supermarket to buy a few veggies yesterday, and today I plan to simply cook a bowl of noodles for dinner. The hot plain noodles are out of the pot, then blanch two green vegetables to cover the noodles, and a bowl of white jade jade is ready. I took a sip of the tangy fragrance with satisfaction, and was about to pick up the chopsticks to start when the phone in the living room suddenly rang. I glanced at the face that had been caught in front of my eyes, and after struggling, I could only regret putting them back in the bowl, and hurried to the living room to answer the phone. An unfamiliar female voice came from the other end of the phone, Hello, Mr. Ning, I'm Lee Suan, Mr. Song's secretary. We met before, do you remember? Of course I remember, and I will never forget it. I remember, I called you. Lee Suan laughed a little embarrassedly, Yes, I saved your phone number at that time. She didn't go around in circles with me, that's right. Mr. Song wants you to come over now. Once. Now. I looked at the sky outside and double-checked, is it right now? Because the wedding dress has arrived, he wants you to come and try it on. Has the date been set? Ning Shi may have been busy with her marriage certificate recently, so she didn't have time to talk to me, and I didn't even know the wedding date. The other party was stunned when I asked, uh, the 15th of next month is an auspicious day. Next month, I'm in a hurry. I pursed my lips, okay, then I'll go there now, the address is. It's in the summer, just come in, I'll let the front desk bring you up. Hang up the phone, I got dressed and hurried out the door, and it was already 8 o'clock in the evening when I arrived downstairs in Xiaosheng. There are still many lights on in the building, including the one on the top. I went directly to the front desk to express my intention. The girl who took me upstairs last time also knew me and said with a smile that Secretary Lee had already asked me to go directly to the 28th floor. I followed her to swipe the card again to enter the elevator, and quickly and smoothly reached the top floor. The elevator door opened slowly, I thanked the front desk, and walked out alone. Seeing me coming. Lee Soon quickly got up from the leather sofa to meet me. President Song is waiting for you inside. She guided me and pushed open the glass door of Song Bei Lao's office. It was dark inside, only a small floor lamp was turned on. I looked at her suspiciously, it really didn't look like anyone inside. There is a door in the corner of the office, which is Mr. Song's living room. Lee Soon obviously knew what I was wondering. Mr. Song sometimes stays up late to work and live in the company, which will make it easier for him to rest. I nodded and walked in by myself. I walked through the large darkness of the office almost in the dark, walked towards the small floor lamp in the corner, and saw a secret door there. The door was not locked, leaving a gap, I pushed it lightly and it leaked silently. Unprepared, a tall and strong figure appeared in front of me. I choked my breath and almost wanted to turn around and run away. Song Bei Lao turned his back to me, tidied up the collar of his shirt, and casually dropped a black suit on the casual sofa beside him. He seemed to feel the slight change in the airflow, 
or smelled my breath, and turned to look over, the big shirt was unbuttoned, revealing a strong and good flesh. Aren't you going to knock on the door when you come in? In the private space without Omega, he took off the bite stopper on his face, and his hair was no longer meticulous. I... I wanted to explain that the door was not closed at all, but as soon as I met his cold eyes, I couldn't say anything. I'm sorry. Finally, I apologized to him. He snorted lightly and looked away, the set on the bed is yours, try it quickly, and leave it for me right away. This hidden living room is more than 10 square meters, with beds, wardrobes, and single sofas. But like the office outside, the light inside is dim, with only a warm yellow reading light lit by the sofa. Such light may be sufficient for the alpha, but for the beta it is a lot harder to see. I picked up the suit from the bed and looked around, but couldn't find a place where I could change alone. It's not good to go outside to change the dress, it's too hypocritical. Gritting my teeth, I turned my back to Song Bei Lao and started to undress. This whole process is like a thorn in the back. I always felt that there was a gaze staring at my back, lingering on my lumbar spine, like an iron feather, constantly scratching my skin, causing goosebumps and tingling that could not be ignored. But I didn't dare to look back, and I didn't dare to have any eye contact with the owner of those eyes. I finally put on my shirt, but when it came time to tie my tie, I had a hard time. I don't have the opportunity to go to formal occasions, I can tie a bow tie randomly, but the tie is too embarrassing for me. I tossed there by myself for a long time, and the eyes behind me became more and more piercing, and I became more and more flustered. Finally, the other party couldn't take it any longer, and he couldn't bear to tut, as if he didn't understand why there is such a stupid person in the world. Come here. The stern tone made me shudder, I turned around quickly, and didn't dare to walk towards him without hesitation. But it was too dark in the room, and I accidentally stumbled on the seam of the carpet under my feet. Anything aside, it was like an intimate hug. We were so close that I could even smell the perfume he smeared on his neck. It was as if the cold rosin in the forest after the snow matched his complexion. This is not the taste of his pheromone, which is different from his mad beast-like words and deeds, Song Bei Lao's pheromone is very, unexpected, it is a sweet sweet scented osmanthus fragrance. Beta doesn't usually smell alpha and omega pheromones unless it's concentrated to a certain extent. And generally only during the estrus period, they will emit such a strong pheromone, which represents their crazy desire to mark each other. I know about Song Bei Lao's private affairs because I have seen him in passive estrus. Although it was an accident, the scent that filled the small equipment room at that time was enough to edge in my heart and remember it for a lifetime. In the disturbing silence, Song Bei Lao's lazy voice sounded again. Your seduction skills are too clumsy, aren't you? I froze all over and looked up from his arms, just in line with his drooping eyes. His eyes and pupils were as black as ink, and his facial features appeared deeper and less warm in the dim light. Are you so eager to dedicate yourself? When he spoke, his thin lips were slightly upturned, but it was by no means a friendly arc. He thinks I fell on purpose, so I can give him a hug. This person has a bad temper, but his imagination is good. No. I hurriedly struggled to get out of his embrace, stepped back a little, and stood an arm's distance away from him. I stared at the indistinct pattern on the carpet and defended weakly, I really just fell. He let out a disdainful snort from his nostrils, as if he was laughing at me and he was still stubborn. Out of the corner of my eye, he flicked his shirt, as if to brush away the unsightly folds I had left on his clothes. For the next ten seconds, none of us spoke. The time is extremely long because of the blank, which makes people restless. In my ear, I heard Song Bei Lao suppressed his impatience, and sighed heavily from his nose, then will you wear a tie? My fingers nervously, I swallowed nervously, this is also. Really not. He didn't speak any more, walked up to me, pulled the tie from my hand, raised my shirt collar not very gently, and even started to tie my tie for me. 
I stifled my neck and let him toss, not daring to move. His eyes inevitably met his face, and he had to admit that even among the generally good-looking alphas, Song Bei Lao's face could still be called amazing. Different from Liang Kaiu Yang's delicacy, and from Zhu Li's immortal look, Song Bei Lao's looks are more masculine and more aggressive. If Liang Kaiu Yang and Zhu Li are precious collections displayed in the museum, then Song Bei Lao is a magnificent scenery in nature. It didn't take a minute, he skillfully tied the tie that I couldn't do with my previous efforts. Okay. He adjusted the position of the tie to fit snugly against my chest. I was finally able to breathe normally without deliberately holding my breath. I saw his eyelids lift slightly, and quickly staggered his face, walked back to the bed and quickly put on the white suit jacket. When he turned around, he saw that Song Bei Lao was still standing there, his eyes fixed on the front. I just noticed that there was a full-length mirror behind me just now and he was silently staring at his own reflection in the mirror. Come here. He seemed to detect my gaze through the mirror, and ordered without looking back. I walked over obediently, and he stepped aside and motioned for me to stand beside him. I did, and the mirror immediately showed us standing side by side. The same style of dress, he wears black, I wear white. He was tall, handsome, and dazzling, I was pale and haggard, and cringed. Are you worthy? He asked, looking at me in the mirror. Not at all, even a little funny. If he wants me to be ashamed, I don't have to. I've always been clear about what this marriage means to him and my role in it. I don't open my eyes, the clothes are a bit big. The dress on me should be made to the size of Julie, and it fits on me like a child wearing an adult's clothes, funny and ridiculous. My reaction may have made him feel a little boring, Song Bei Lao looked at me in the mirror for a while, turned and took off his coat, without continuing to stab me. I'll ask the tailor to make one size smaller. He casually threw his coat on the armrest, and leaned back on the sofa. I stood for a while at a loss, thinking that this should mean over, and took off my coat as I walked to the bed. Do you know why I married the Zhu family? I took off my clothes and looked at Song Bei Lao blankly. He crossed Erlang's legs and supported his chin, in the energy industry, Xia Sheng and Ruan's family are also known as two giants, and the Zhu family has begun to set foot in the energy industry in recent years. I choose one of them to be attached to. And I also need to draw new forces to fight against the Ruan family and break the deadlock, so it makes no difference to me whether it is the Zhu family or the Yang family. He said lightly, the canine teeth looming under his thin lips, you two brothers. Although it's not very good, a commercial marriage has nothing to do with will. I hope that after marriage, you can abide by your duties, do your own thing, and don't cause me trouble. In this way, we may be able to coexist peacefully. He said it bluntly and very rudely. But I didn't seem to have any other choice but to nod my head in agreement. I see. I turned my back to him and changed back to my clothes. I was hesitating whether to fold the dresses that I took off. Song Bei Lao behind him saw my intention and stopped him coldly. Me. The clothes are there, you can go. As if receiving amnesty, I straightened up and walked out, almost impatiently leaving the room with Song Bei Lao. Secretary Li sent me downstairs, and I didn't dare to look back until I walked out of the Xiaozhang building. The towering 28th floor, whether it is from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, should not be perceived by reason, but I feel strangely that a touch of eyes always falls on me from the high-rise building, lingering. I just tried on a suit, but I was exhausted. After returning home, the bowl of white jade jade noodles had already grown into a lump of dough. Although it must be very hard to eat, I was hungry and tired, and I couldn't give birth to the heart to start cooking again, so I could only eat this bowl of cold noodles. After eating the noodles, I put down my chopsticks and clenched my palms against the bowl of residual soup in front of me and clenched a fist. Happy birthday to me. I don't really feel much about the day I was born. In the past, when Master was here, I would celebrate my birthday. After he left, I didn't even remember much. 
This year, I will think of eating a bowl of noodles, but I just want to make a birthday wish. I put my forehead on my thumb, closed my eyes and said softly, I hope my child is healthy and safe. For more than 20 years, I have made only a handful of wishes, and few have come true. Seven years after he was born, I have not done anything for him, so I can only comfort myself in this way. I always blame Ning Shi, but after all, I am not a competent father myself. I cleaned up the dishes and took a shower, and it was eleven o'clock in the evening. I sat down at my desk, opened my diary with the key, and wrote down what happened today. Since seven years ago, I have had the habit of keeping a diary. All the thoughts that I can't express during the day are smothered in the diary, which can also be used as my daily catharsis. I saw him again, and he asked me to abide by my duty, when Song Bei Lao asked me to try on clothes in the evening, I paused for a while, until a spot of ink that could not be ignored appeared on the paper, I picked up the pen again and continued to write. After writing the diary, turn off the lights and go to sleep. I don't know if it was because of the relationship with Song Bei Lao that I saw him today, and I have him in my dreams. Zhu Li knocked on my door and invited me to a party with a smile, saying I would love it. At that time he disguised himself very well, gentle, beautiful, excellent, and even allowed me, the son of a mistress, to call him brother, you can imagine how flattered I was when I was young. I trust him unconditionally, and feel that he is the opposite of the arrogant and indifferent classmates in the school, a white lotus flower that emerges from the mud and is not stained. I didn't expect the white lotus to be a real white lotus, or a black heart lotus with a profound Taoism. He often asked me at the dinner table about my situation at school and inquired about the details of my relationship with my classmates. At that time, I thought he cared about me and would always hide the truth and tell him that I was fine, everyone is friendly. In fact, he was just watching my jokes and appreciating my lame performance that I wanted to cover up. Not long after, Julie took me to a carnival party. On the top floor of a building, there is an infinity pool overlooking the panoramic view of Xiongtan. I don't know what the theme is and who the organizer is. From the moment you walk in, you will be greeted by a dizzying array of alphas and omegas, all dressed up in their signature bite stops and collars, and having fun within safety. There were betas on the scene, but only a few, and I quickly found out that it was the waiter who poured them drinks. Many people came to say hello to Julie, and he was also a dazzling presence in the upper class that could not be ignored. Julie introduced me to them one by one, calling me younger brother. Whenever this time, the opposite of ORO will show a subtle surprise. These people are well hidden, but I can still keenly capture the emotion behind their perfect upbringing that I can't help but leak out, that little bit of emotion that can be called disgust. The only difference between them and my classmates is that one of them still maintains poor superficial skills, while the other is too lazy to maintain superficial skills. Julie was surrounded by his friends, who talked about the financial situation and international trends, they didn't look like a group of underage high school students. It was also at this moment that I clearly realized that the power, wealth and even the future of this world are only in the hands of a few people and those who participate in this party are the best among them, and Beta will never try to squeeze into them. I felt unable to fit in, and walked away bleakly, just looking for a quiet place to stay until the party was over. This may be the purpose of Julie taking me there, so that I can recognize the reality and know the gap with them. In the midst of the loud music, I was attacked from behind by a sudden strong force, crushing the wall. I looked back in horror to see an unfamiliar alpha, wearing bright amber contact lenses, a brass-like bite stop, and a terrifyingly uneven shape. You smell very clean. He sniffed at me and smiled drunkenly, want to play with me. I even suspect that these betas are their fun. And without Julie by my side, it was obvious to them that they could have fun at will. I don't want to play. I pushed him away covered my head and headed into a corridor. The alpha behind me was chasing me slowly, as if I thought I would play Hartoplady with him again. Don't go, slow down. 
The other party leaned against the wall crookedly, Little Beta, let me mark you. He was amused by himself, and he laughed inexplicably there, I don't know did you take any medicine? I kept going back and forth, and turned another corner, finding in despair a dead end. Fortunately, there were several closed doors on both sides of the corridor. I was in a panic and went to the doctor. I chose one of them and twisted the handle. Unexpectedly, it opened. I hurriedly entered the room, closed the door softly, put my forehead against the door and let out a long breath. It's just that before I could completely put my heart back to its original place, the abnormal noise behind me instantly made me nervous again. I only glanced at the door when I entered, only to see the moonlight and the light shining into the room through the huge floor-to-ceiling windows, casting a lattice-like reflection on the ground, but I didn't notice anyone else. I turned around abruptly, and saw a dark corner where the afterglow of the light did not reach, on a big soft and messy bed, the Alpha sat up slowly, clutching his forehead. After a while, a similarly naked female Beta sat up beside him. Seeing the black grid-shaped bite stopper on the lower half of the Alpha's face, I moved in my heart and had a vague premonition. Sure enough, when the other party moved his hand away, I found out that the other party I knew, or I had met, was Song Beilao. He also saw me, not knowing whether it was a hangover or being disturbed, and frowned tightly, who let you in? I am also very embarrassed by this situation, but if I go out again, I am afraid to meet that strange Alpha again. I hurriedly explained to him, I'm. Have we met you? Did you forget? At the back door of the laboratory building that day, you climbed over the wall. I tried to evoke his memory, I'm Zhu. Li's brother, there is an Alpha outside who has been pestering me. Please, lend me a place to hide. He raised his eyebrows, Julie's, little brother. He looked at the beta beside him and raised his chin at her, you, go out. The woman gathered her curly hair and pouted in dissatisfaction, but still obediently got out of bed and put on her clothes, daring not to leave without any complaints. When she passed me, she rolled her eyes at me, as if to blame me for disturbing her good things. Only me and Song Bei Lao were left in the room. I pressed against the door nervously, not knowing what to say. In the end, Song Bei Lao said first, Zhu Li actually has a beta brother. He browsed slightly, and seems to find it strange. I pursed my dry lips, we, are not related by blood. He suddenly realized, no wonder, you are not alike at all. His words seemed to have deep meaning. I don't like his tone very much, how can I compare with my brother? The door behind me was suddenly slammed, I stared at the door in horror, backed away from it, my heart was beating so violently that I almost jumped out of my chest. The back suddenly hit a solid and hot human wall, I turned around in astonishment, Song Bei Lao stood behind me, put his hands on my shoulders, and pushed me aside. Get out of the way! I was still stunned. He had walked over and slammed the door open. Fuck away if you don't want to die. He made vicious threats to those outside the door. Song, Song Beilao. The man seemed to be frightened, and I could even hear in his voice the image of a puppy with its tail tucked out of its throat to let out a pitiful whimper. Song Beilao's reputation at that time was already very loud, whether it was family life or fighting fiercely. His excellence is obvious to all and his rebellion is well known. Even as the same kind, no alpha will easily provoke him. The door soon became quiet, and Song Bei Lao closed the door again. And it was only now that I realized that he was completely naked. He stood in front of me carelessly, like a vivid marble statue, the texture of the muscles and even the light and shadow cast by the outdoor light on his body, all revealed an unreal beauty. Although the lower body is hidden in the shadows, it looks very blurry. I looked away awkwardly, um, thank you, thank you. This is not the place for a beta like you. I was stunned for a moment, what he said was right, but he was too direct, which made my face very ugly. I was at a loss this night, I was out of tune, I was suffocating and had nowhere to vent, and he hit my gun. 
I met his eyes and asked him, where should I be? Ning Shi asked me to join them, but they did not accept me. I also don't want to pretend to be their kind, but I really have nowhere to go. I was very naive at that time, thinking that everyone is human, why should Beta be inferior to others? I can go by myself, but they can't chase me away. In the place where your Betas are supposed to be. Song Bei Lao reached out and rubbed the back of his neck, circled around, and avoided the important points, it's not here anyway. I held back for a long time, and I never broke out when dealing with Ning Shi, but after he finished saying this, I refuted him with a strange heroism. It's really easy to say, aren't you beta born? Since you also have half of the beta genes in your body, shouldn't you stay here too? This is a bold statement. I regretted it immediately after I said it, but it was too late. I not only stabbed Song Bei Lao's inverse scale, but also stabbed to death. When I reacted, he grabbed my neck and threw me hard against the wall. My toes were touching the ground, I had difficulty breathing, and the blood all over my body seemed to condense on my face. I struggled to grab the hand on my neck, but I couldn't resist Alpha's strength. His hand was like an unbreakable iron pincer that couldn't be shaken at all. In a trance, I even saw a tyrannical blood light flashing in Song Bei Lao's eyes, as if he was going to kill me. I thought I was going to die, he really wanted to strangle me. But gradually, the pressure on the neck to compress the trachea became less and less, and I was able to breathe smoothly again. I took a big mouthful of precious air, because I was so eager, I even coughed, and tears came out of the corners of my eyes. He squeezed my chin and forced me to look up. What do you know? Think you can tell me if you hear one or two gossips about me. It's because of a self-righteous beta like you, I it's here. He looked at me like he was looking at an ant, what a disappointment. He withdrew his hand, threw me there, turned and pushed open a bathroom door and walked in without turning back. I covered my neck and watched his back disappear behind the door with lingering fear, until the faint sound of water sounded in my ears and then I opened the door and escaped from the bedroom as if I was awakened. After the party, Julie found me in a dark corner. He reluctantly asked me why I was hiding, I smiled at him and said that I was not used to the noisy environment. His gaze lingered on my neck for a moment, then looked away as if nothing had happened. When I got home, I looked in the mirror and found that there was an obvious choke mark on my neck. Be betrayed again and again is it because of credulity or because I am a beta? There are only a handful of people in this world who care about me. Master counts as one, but unfortunately my life is not good, and I have only five years of mentoring and apprenticeship with him. Now that I am getting married, I have a few invitations in my hand that I have nowhere to post. After thinking about it, I brought a bottle of Urquata to the cemetery. According to my memory, I found the tablet of Master and Mistress. I placed the opened Urquatu in front of Master's tomb, and took out a packet of cookies made yesterday from my coat pocket and placed it on Mistress's side. My wife was only in her twenties when she passed away. In order to make it look like the two were still on the same page, the Master specially instructed before his death that the photo on the tombstone should be taken when he was twenty years old. It is indeed a pair, like a young couple. When Master passed away, Xiang Ping and I were playing in France, and it was very unpleasant. After returning to China, Xiang Ping refused to let me attend Master's funeral, saying that I was not worthy. When Master was buried, I could only watch from a distance, and then come forward to pay homage when everyone left. The weather was nice and sunny, but I felt cold for no reason. It seems that the sun can no longer shine on me and the rest of my life is only cloudy and bleak. After thinking about it, it may be a relationship that God will give me back that little warmth. I knelt down in front of the tombstone and kowtowed to Master three times. The last blow was too hard, and there was a double impact in front of my eyes. It was as if an invisible force was pressing against me, breaking my spine, pressing me into the mud, and preventing me from getting up again. I knelt there with my forehead on the ground, and said, Master and Mistress, 
I'm sorry, I hit level, but I don't regret it. He said, Master, I promised you to bring the trophy back, but I'm talking big, I'm sorry. Sorry for not seeing you one last time. Sorry for making you uncomfortable. Sorry. At the end, only the empty and heavy word I'm sorry was left. I forgot how many times I said it, I just remember that when I looked up again, the original bright sunshine was only the afterglow of the sunset. Master, I'm getting married. I lit the invitation card in my hand, and slowly watched the flames swallow the festive red little by little, I will burn an invitation card for you and my wife, come or not. It's up to you. I have more here, and I will burn them together for you, and see if there are any friends coming. Four pieces were burned in a row, causing the grave to be filled with smoke. I fanned my hands in front of my eyes, and I was so fascinated by the smoke that I couldn't help but cry. In the still cold air in early spring, the grey mist flutters, like a silk ribbon with life, suddenly condensed and suddenly dissipated. Coughing twice, with tears in my eyes, I saw a figure approaching from a distance, my eyes narrowed, and I immediately took a breath. The road to the enemy is narrow, I burned a wedding invitation, and I was able to meet Xiang Ping on the narrow road. I saw the other party, and the other party saw me. He walked towards me with a flat face, a bag of things in his hand, and half a bunch of incense sticks out of the bag. I hurriedly got up, not wanting to confront him hidden, and planned to leave from the other side. Ning Yu. I took a step and looked back at Xiang Ping. Xiang Ping has a serious national character face, like Master, but unfortunately his personality is completely different from Master. Please don't come again. He looked down at the wine and cookies in front of the tombstone, and swept them aside with the bag mercilessly. The wine bottle broke and the cookies shattered. He said, they are my parents, not yours. I don't want to see you here again. I don't know where the hatred for me came from. The fingers in the pocket of the coat tightened, I tried to reason with him, I just, I want to visit Master occasionally. No need. Xiang Ping was impatient, I don't welcome you. I looked at him and nodded. Line. I turned around and left, giving up reasoning with him. Anyway, the door of the cemetery is open to anyone, unless he is crazy enough to prevent me from sweeping the grave for the master and the wife to move the grave, otherwise I don't believe that I can meet him every time I come. Time flew by, and the day before the ceremony with Song Beilao, Ning Shi sent a car to take me back to Zhu's house. From the moment I got in the car, I was very uncomfortable, and when I arrived in front of the familiar luxury mansion of the Zhu family, this discomfort reached its peak. I even felt like I could vomit on the spot with just a little stimulation. Ning Shi said that my room was reserved for me. I opened the door and saw that the room was still the same room, but the furniture inside was completely changed. It was only then that I realized that when Ning Shi said the room was reserved, he really meant it literally, and he reserved a guest room for me. But that's fine too, so I don't have to bring back bad old memories because of a familiar environment. I said I wanted to rest, I slept in the room in the afternoon, and when I woke up, the uncomfortable feeling subsided a lot. During dinner, the servant knocked on the door and asked me to go downstairs, saying that Zhu Yunzhong and Zhu Li were back. After seven years, I saw the Zhu family again. As if I had never left, Zhu Yunzhong greeted me kindly and let me sit on his left, Ning Shi sat beside me, and Zhu Yunzhong, who always dined quietly, sat opposite me glass. As in the past, he is beautiful and elegant, and he is the existence that both Beta and Alpha will dream of. He was wearing a crisp white shirt and a bite-proof collar inlaid with red diamond-shaped gems around his neck, which made his skin paler. If it is true that he has been marked as Ning Shi said, then this collar has no effect other than a decorative effect. During the meal, Zhu Li didn't make eye contact with me from beginning to end, and didn't even say a word. He didn't seem to see me at all, and he seemed to treat himself as an invisible man at the dinner table. Although Ning Shi has been with Zhu Yun's hung for more than ten years and has become the official Mrs. Zhu, 
it has only been a month. At this time, it is the newly married Yan Er, and I can't stop her from having such a big light bulb. Zhu Yun's hung was always attentive and secretive, wishing to share every bite of food with her husband, which made me very embarrassed. I'm done. After Zhu Li finished eating the half bowl of rice in her own bowl, she put down the bowls and chopsticks. Zhu Yun's hung looked at him lightly, then go back to your room and rest. Zhu Li nodded, didn't say hello to the others, and turned upstairs. In the battle with Ning Shi, he was completely defeated, and even his relationship with Zhu Yun's hung was left out in the cold. Now that he can sit and eat together so calmly, I still admire him. After a tormented meal, Zhu Yun's hung still wanted to let me drink tea, but I declined because of my physical discomfort and fled back to the room. The wedding ceremony will be held tomorrow, I don't know how busy it will be, and the live broadcast will definitely not be able to go on these two days. I brought Ben the Little Prince from home and wanted to be a children's book anchor again. I opened the mobile app and logged into my live broadcast room. There were already more than 50 people waiting online. Sorry, I have some things to do these two days. I will read The Little Prince to everyone today, take a day off tomorrow, and try to resume the live broadcast the day after tomorrow. After saying this, the number of people online dropped to the 30s, and there were some complaining comments, saying that I have taken too many leave recently, do I have to find another way out? No, it's just that I have to be present for this matter, so I can only ask for leave. Someone started asking me what I was going to do. Just, get married. Comments were silent for a moment as if they were stuck, and soon erupted in a blowout. Everyone is congratulating me and wishing me a happy wedding. How could they have thought that I didn't know I was going to get married two months ago? The next morning after five o'clock in the morning, the servant knocked on my door and came to dress me up. In front of the full-length mirror, three people and six hands are busy and orderly putting on shoes, tying ties, and taking care of their hair. I tossed and turned all night and didn't fall asleep last night, and when I closed my eyes, many images of the past flashed through my mind, which was very disturbing. I was drowsy in front of the full-length mirror and a little sick to my stomach when they were messing with me. Unlike yesterday's psychological nausea, this time it was a physiological nausea. The maid applied hairspray for me, pushed up the bangs that covered my eyes, and revealed a blue-white face. The other party frowned, walked away for a while, and came back with a box of rouge in his hand, which he would wipe on my face without a word. I avoided it and blocked it with my hand, don't. At this moment, Ning Shi's voice came from the door, I'll go out. The servants immediately stopped their movements and filed out silently. Ning Shi came to my side and behind, put her hands on my shoulders, and exposed half of her body in the mirror. In this way, we still look alike, especially the eyes, the wrinkles are not obvious, the ends of the eyes are long and narrow, and they look a little indifferent, not so simple. Ning Shi smiled and asked me, are you nervous? I looked at her in the mirror and asked cautiously, can you, let me see his picture. She frowned slightly, moved her hand away, took out her mobile phone from her small bag and handed it to me. I took it nervously seeing the child's face completely and clearly for the first time. He stood there ignorantly, staring blankly at the camera, his face was very delicate, and his eyes had the characteristics of the Ning family, all slender and long. It doesn't look like that person at all. I rubbed the child's facial features with my fingertips across the screen, and my voice trembled, What's his name? What's his blood type? Ignoring my nostalgia, Ning Shi pulled her phone back from my hand. It's a beta, she said. Take your time, you have to lose your chips a little bit, and don't be too greedy. In order to control me with her child, she even used his name as a bargaining chip. I feel really angry and sad, but helpless. How slow. Ning Shi reached out and brushed my bangs, look at your performance, dear son. This was originally a business marriage and it was naturally impossible for Song Bei Lao to come to welcome the marriage in person. But fortunately, 
he also sent a car, so as not to make the scene too ugly. The ceremony took place in Song Bei Lao's villa on the Victoria King Hill in Xiangtan. The whole mountain was bought by him a few years ago. He has only one house on the mountain, hidden among the pinnacles. There is a large lawn in front of the house and behind the house, and you can play golf directly. As a result, the Alpha can no longer wear a bite stop that gets in the way. Zhu Yun's Hung and Ning Shi followed the wedding car to the top of the mountain with me. Zhu Li was not there. I don't know if Zhu Yun's Hung felt ashamed and didn't let him come, or he didn't want to come. I took a deep breath and stepped out of the car, in front of the arched flower door, Song Bailaha in a black dress was there, stretched out his hand to me, even with a relaxed smile on his face. Acting skills can be described as higher than people. I saw Yang Kai Yang in the crowd, he waved to me desperately, trying to get my attention, I couldn't help showing him a sincere smile. Crowds on both sides cheered and fired the gun salute, and the orchestra played the wedding march. I smiled reluctantly, and walked towards Song Bei Lao stiffly, almost on the same foot in the last few steps. A few steps away. He grabbed my hand and pulled me firmly beside him. Then they took me up the red carpet and walked to the ceremony pavilion decorated with flowers and white gauze. My palms were sweating uncontrollably, Song Bei Lao felt it, and turned his head to look at me. Nervous. I glanced at him quickly, looked ahead, and said, It's okay. He leaned closer to my ear and chuckled, Yes, it's all fake anyway. My smile froze and the discomfort in my stomach became more pronounced. He went through many tedious steps, signed each other's names on the marriage certificate, and finally came to the link of exchanging rings. Jia Tong was Song Bei Lao's son Song Emo. He carefully walked towards us with a velvet cushion in his arms, his expressionless face extremely serious. In the center of the cushion lay two plain rings, so ordinary that they were unremarkable. I put the ring on Song Bailo and then replace him. When the silver plain ring passed through my knuckles and was about to reach the root, he suddenly paused and took about two seconds to complete the action. Unabashedly, his struggles are fully demonstrated. After the ceremony, the cold meal will begin. Song Bailo hugged my waist and greeted the guests and the media one by one. The smile on his face did not diminish at all and he showed me what a real acting school is with his actions. I'm a little fortunate that I didn't sleep all night, so that the physical discomfort surpassed the psychological, and I didn't have time to take into account the fear of facing the crowd. Song, Mr. Song. I felt the hand on my waist stiff for a moment, and Song Bei Lao looked at the timid voice together. Wearing a collar around her neck, with long black straight hair tied into a ponytail, moist eyes, and pale lips, she is a male Omega that I feel pity for. I think he looks familiar, but I don't remember where I met him. Song Bei Lao obviously knew each other, but just didn't like this kind of encounter, I don't remember inviting you. The man bit his lip, showing a look of tears. I want to see you one last time. The hand on his waist loosened, Song Bei Lao walked towards the other party and stayed beside him for a moment, come with me. He walked past him and walked into the room. The Omega had a smile on his face and hurriedly followed him away. I was left in place by myself, a little confused. Oh, I'm sorry. Liang Kaiu Yang held me and stuck out his tongue at me. He approached me mysteriously, that was Huoshu, right? I don't understand, hey. It's the one who spoke to you just now. I think about why the Omega just now looks familiar. He is Huan Shu, a famous movie star in the past two years. I also accompanied Liang Kai Yang to watch a youth love movie starring him. I didn't expect him to have an entanglement with Song Bei Lao. Probably. Liang Kai Yang didn't pay much attention to my answer, and happily continued to share with me the various celebrities he recognized on the court. Is it Song Bei Lao's father who is talking to your mother and the others? He suddenly raised his chin behind me, it's good for rich people to take good care of them, they look so young, they say they are with Song Bei Lao. Brother, I believe it. I turned to look behind me, 
Ning Shi and Zhu Yunzhong were talking to the same tall alpha, although the face of the other was still young and handsome, the grey hair on the temples still revealed his true age. It is said that Song Beilao and his father have a bad relationship, Liang Kaiyuyang shared with me the gossip he had inquired, the property over the Luo family may be handed over to Song Beilao's son, who is the your stepson inherits. I don't know if he still lacks a son, but I can. When Luo King he divorced and remarried with his first wife, Song Beilao was already quite old. No one would be happy when his family encountered such a thing. Today. Song Beilao dragged me around in front of the media, but did not speak to a Luo family member. Their relationship might be worse than rumored. You are so unprincipled. I was amused by Liang Kaiyu Yang's words, how has your training been recently? When will you debut? Liang Kaiyu Yang smiled, it is expected that next month, my first original single will also be released simultaneously. Then you will give me a big red envelope. How much did you pack today? I'll pay you back with an extra 100 yuan. Liang Kaiyu Yang rounded a pair of almond eyes, you are married into a wealthy family, why are you so stingy? Because I have no money. Ning Shi gave me a check for 20 million, but I am not going to cash it. Liang Kaiyu Yang and I stood in front of the glass guardrail and chatted, with green grass beside me and a modern city made of reinforced concrete as far as I could see from the foot of the mountain. The sky turned dark little by little, and the lanterns gradually lit up on the venue, illuminating the grass-like day. It may be related to drinking some champagne, my stomach is getting more and more uncomfortable, twitching to express my desire to vomit. Holding the toilet, I threw up and flushed my face with cold water. After I felt better, I went out. I didn't expect to meet Luo King he halfway. I saw that he was at a loss for a moment and was hesitating what to call him, so he spoke first. See Burrow. I can't say that he and the little lover left, so I shook my head, no. He frowned, find him and let him come to see me. He used the command style, and didn't give me a chance to refuse, he turned around and left. It's really father and son. I sighed helplessly at Luo King he's back. I searched inside and outside the house, and finally found Li Sun who was guarding there in front of the stairs leading to the roof, thus confirming that Song Beilao should be in the roof garden. I said I was looking for Song Beilao, but Li Sun hesitated for a while or moved on. I slowly stepped up the steps, all the way up, and when the exit was in sight, I heard a faint cry. I stopped there wondering if I should keep going. Can't we not break up? The cry was intermittent, and the owner of the voice eagerly expressed his appeal, I will be obedient and will never cause you trouble. I don't want anything, I just want to stay by your side, so, is this not possible? I leaned against the wall, intending to wait for another good time to go out. The evening wind with a suitable temperature on the roof blows slowly through the narrow doorway. It may be located in the deep mountains. The wind carries a fresh fragrance of grass and trees, which makes me a little sleepy. Don't want anything? Do you think I would believe this? Song Beilao's ending with a smile, for no reason reminded me of Julie's antique cello, with its gorgeous tone and high price. Song Beilao is also like this. When speaking to people he doesn't approve of, it will be hard to listen to, and if he is not careful, he will be cut. His words became colder, and there was no trace of warmth. After two years with me, you should know what I hate the most. Instead of pestering me here, you might as well go downstairs and try your luck to see if you can find your new target. The cry was suffocated, and she could have been struggling to the death under the cold knives constantly issued by Song Beilao, but now she was completely killed. I sighed silently. This is really too heartless and too rude. Since his student days, Song Beilao has been surrounded by people, omegas, betas, and even alphas. He is always in a chaotic atmosphere and walks alone on campus. We can all be said to be the outliers of Shang Shan, but because of his poor personality, no one can approach him, and because I am a beta, no one wants to approach him. Heterogeneous thinking patterns may all be similar. 
he occupied the roof of the remote teaching building as a site, and used it as a place to skip classes every day. Without knowing it, I also chose that place as a place to temporarily escape from the depressing campus life. I once stood in a similar position to today and heard a life palace between him and an Omega. After all these years, nothing has changed. I'm not like that. During my mind wandering, Song Bei Lao and Su Xu didn't know what was going on, there seemed to be a slight noise of clothes rubbing, and after a moment of silence, Song Bei Lao's breathless rebuke sounded. Um. Immediately, get me out of here immediately. He spit out a word, fuck. The messy footsteps came hurriedly, I straightened up slightly, and collided with the readied male artist at the narrow staircase. He was stunned when he saw me, and the unwillingness in his eyes almost solidified. I don't need to guess, I know, he must be thinking, how can this person become Mrs. Song? He wiped me away in a hurry. After I walked the last few steps, I saw Song Bei Lao standing there with tall legs and long legs on the rooftop with all kinds of green plants. He saw me, and wiped his lower lip with his thumb, what are you doing? He didn't seem to be in a good mood. I was afraid that I would make a lot of mistakes and annoy him, so I said briefly, your father is looking for you. Song Bei Lao put his hands in his pockets and looked at me quietly for a moment, oh. Then he ignored me and made no further action, but turned to look downstairs. There, the lights are shining, the clothes are fragrant and the temples are shadowed, the symphony orchestra is playing soothing and lingering music, and the hoarse voice of the female singer is slowly sounding, which is a song suitable for dancing. The night sky suddenly burst into bright fireworks, one after another, with a variety of patterns. Although it is short like a shooting star, it adds a gorgeous touch to the quiet and deep mountains. This kind of wedding is really very romantic. For any newlyweds who are in love with each other, they must embrace and dance with each other at this time, and kiss under the fireworks. Unfortunately, Song Bei Lao and I are not lovers, this scene is a waste after all. Song Bei Lao raised his head and admired the fireworks in the sky, but he didn't want to continue to pay any attention to me. Liang Kaiu Yang couldn't stay too late, saying that his brokerage company was very troublesome and controlled him very strictly. Before nine o'clock, his agent's car was waiting outside, and he said goodbye to me in a hurry, and he trotted into the car. I watched him leave, and went back to the banquet as a wallflower for another hour, until ten o'clock, and finally waited for the guests to leave one by one. Song Bei Lao is missing, and Luo King he has not been seen. I don't know if the two finally spoke. Ning Shi walked away with a smile on her face, looking very satisfied with my performance today. She touched my face and gave me a hug. You did a great job. She whispered in my ear, we'll call you later. I used to look forward to her hug, but now it's more frightening than a snake's kiss. The servants began to clean the courtyard one after another. After I finished delivering the guests, I turned around and saw Lee Sun and a middle-aged woman coming downstairs. Lee Sun saw me and smiled at me, Mr. Ning. The young master has just fallen asleep, and Mr. Song and Mr. Luo are talking in the study. He asked you to rest first, saying that you don't have to wait for him. Then she introduced the person beside me, this is my mother, she's an Omega, and she's the housekeeper here. The middle-aged woman nodded respectfully to me, Mr. Ning, you can just call me Sister Nine. Nine sisters-in-law. I greeted her and asked her which room I slept in. Sister Ju was stunned and pointed me to a room. The lights outside were still on, I was sleepy and tired, and fell asleep on the bed without turning on the lights as soon as I entered the room. I thought Sister Nine must have pointed me to a guest room. After all, Song Bei Lao had no feelings for me, and even hated me. Living in separate rooms without interfering with each other is the most suitable way I can think of to get along. But I forgot, which bed partner does Song Bei Lao have feelings for? It's true that he married me as a commercial marriage, and it's true that he didn't want me to have his children, but he never said that I should be just a decoration. In the middle of the night, 
I was sleeping soundly when a hot body suddenly covered my back. Song, Song Beilao. I quickly woke up, my heart was beating violently, and there was something inexplicable besides being frightened. You leave your husband to sleep alone on the wedding night, how can you do this to a wife? He pressed my body with one hand and slid the other hand down the gap into my pants. The hot palms pressed against my buttocks, rubbing so hard that I couldn't help but let out a pained sound. I put my forehead on the pillow and said tremblingly, Yes, you said I don't need to wait. The movement of the palm stopped, and a very light smile sounded in the ear. I told you to abide by your duty, why don't you remember? His tone was a little cold, and he ripped off my trousers until they fell to his thighs. Wait, wait. I struggled, trying to escape from under him. He clasped my neck harder to keep me from moving. The weight on my back was far away, and there was a sound of him taking apart something from behind. After a while, he pressed it up again, and I immediately felt a giant slippery thing sliding between my hips. A lot of confusing pictures flashed in front of my eyes, the stuffy equipment room, the strong fragrance of flowers, the shaking eyes. I was stiff and shivering, and my body started to heat up shamefully. Song Bei Lao's soft lips pressed against my face, rubbing his ears, it's not the first time, why pretend to be so reluctant? I froze, not only because of the embarrassment of the question, but also because of his slow and unstoppable intrusion. His size is too large, I had a hard time accommodating it, but thankfully he didn't not. Alphas will not in the front during passive estrus, like a dog, and get stuck in the gut during ejaculation, which can be really painful. Fingers clenched the sheets tightly, taking deep breaths. Julie said that the shrike would nail its prey to the thorns to share its food. I feel like a poor grasshopper now, pinned to the bed by Song Beilao and ravaged. During this time, inevitably he discovered the tattoo on my tailbone. It seemed to be very interesting, he kept scratching with his fingers, as if he wanted to break the false scar, poking into the flesh and stirring. Whenever this happens, I will scream very loudly, and the reaction is as big as the abdominal wound is really torn open again. This is not so much a human copulation as a beast copulation. I have no room for resistance, I can only let him play. Finally he hugged me from behind and bit my neck but I didn't have any glands there. Alpha's canine teeth are sharp enough to pierce the skin with ease. A small stream of heat slowly dripped down my neck, and I groaned in pieces in pain, begging for mercy almost uselessly. After a while, he let go of his teeth and licked my wound with his tongue. The soft and creamy touch, with the intimacy after the affair, made me feel strong. He felt it and pulled out of me, still like it. Your mark. I touched the place where he bites, and he squeaked in pain, and I couldn't say I liked it anyway. Fell asleep. I pursed my lips, limped out of bed to take a bath, and found no trace of in my body. He was so drunk that he didn't forget to use contraception. It seemed that he was really afraid that I would steal his seed. After taking a shower, I carefully lifted the quilt, I slept on the other side, occupied a small bed, and fell asleep with my back to Song Beilao. The bed is big enough that you can have no physical contact all night. The next day I woke up in a trance. A used condom was thrown on the ground, very disrespectful. Clean. People who can't do anything are really only worthy of being called trash. Sister Ju said that in order to handle official duties, Song Beilao lived in the city every day and only Song Mo and a group of servants were on the mountain. Of course, now add another me. Song Mo is well behaved and quiet, but he doesn't like to talk. I have vaguely asked Sister Nine if his health is not very good. Sister in law Ju quickly understood what I was asking, and said that she had taken him for a comprehensive examination when she was three years old, and everything was normal. Maybe her reluctance to talk was due to her personality or her personality. He has regular psychological corrections, but the effect is not obvious. He mentioned the previous nanny again, saying that the family did not recruit unmarked young omegas, 
but Song Mo liked listening to her tell stories, so Song Beilao made an exception to hire her, hoping she would be better to stimulate Song Mo's language ability. I didn't expect the other party to be so unbearable, and when I went out, I almost lost the young master. At the end, she sighed, looking a little helpless. Song Beilao's house has everything, a banquet hall, a library, a swimming pool, and a toilet to Liang Kaiu Yang's entire suite. The kitchen tools are also very complete, the oven is the largest and the latest style, there is no shortage of flour and frosting, and there are hundreds of piping nozzles. I originally wanted to bring my own set of tools, but when I saw this posture, I immediately gave up the idea, and I abandoned my old love with peace of mind. Clothing Sister-in-law Nine saw me coming back with a bag of clothes with a surprised expression, saying that Song Beilao had already ordered new clothes for the four seasons for me. They were all brand new, she thought I didn't want to wear old Pruetting clothes so she specifically asked for it. I was stunned for a while. I went to the cloakroom upstairs to take a look. Sure enough, there were new unopened clothes on the shelves, and the size was my size. Of course this was not my request. After thinking for a while, I guessed that Song Beilao might have seen me twice and couldn't bear my poor and sour clothes, so he condescended to buy new clothes for me. Think about it too, since I am already Mrs. Song, my external image is not only related to myself, but also to him, how can I be as sloppy as before? After the live broadcast resumed, because Song Beilao's kitchen was very different from the small kitchen I used to be unable to turn around, it was obvious to all, and the comments skyrocketed. After several months of double-digit numbers, the number of people in my live broadcast room broke through 100 for the first time, and slowly climbed towards 200. Today I will teach you how to make branches, first adjust the color, slightly darker, probably dark brown. Stirring the cream, I glanced at the comment area, and it was already guessing that I was married or marry a local tyrant. Someone sharpied noticed a small corner of white gauze sticking out of the back of my neck, exerting excellent reasoning ability, thinking that I must be married to an alpha. My camera is completely faceless, the screen only shoots into the part below my shoulders, so that they can see my gauze, I also admire their eyesight. Squeeze it onto the parchment paper with a number 66 piping tip, and bake it in the oven at low temperature for 5 minutes. I saw that the more they guessed, the more outrageous they were, so I had to interrupt, no, I'm not an Omega, my personal profile shows my real information, I am a Beta, and I have been since I was a child. Some Alphas these days also put teeth marks on their Beta partners, but it doesn't really make much sense other than it looks like that's it. It's like an oath, if you keep it, it's an oath. Afterwards, no matter how speculative the comments are, I will not make any positive responses. When the live broadcast was about to end, Song Mo suddenly ran over from nowhere and hugged my leg. I was startled and shook and Austin rose to the ground. Song Mo had to pick it up with his hands when he saw it, and I didn't care about the live broadcast, so I stopped him immediately. Don't don't, don't eat. I picked up the pale pink rose first and threw it in the trash. Song Mo looked at me blankly, although there was still no expression on his face, but I always felt that he was a little bit shocked. I, can I make you cupcakes later? Song Mo's eyes lit up, he gave me a small smile and nodded. I rubbed his head and asked him to wait by the side, saying he would be fine soon. The angle of the camera is related to the angle of the camera, and the short song MO could not be photographed, but when I bent down, I was actually photographed in profile. I realized the problem when I straightened up, stiffened for a moment, and subconsciously looked at the screen, only to see my entire face fully revealed, and the terrified staring expression was even a bit funny. Comments exploded, so fast that I didn't even have time to take a closer look. I immediately stood up straight, kept my face away from the filming area, and began to stammer, Today, today is here. Without saying goodbye or saying those closing words in the past, I hastily closed the live broadcast. I can't see the people behind the camera, 
but I know they're all looking at me. This reminds me of two years ago, when the boos from the audience seemed to be close to my ears, they shouted cancel the grade, get him out, like another form of carnival, completely drowned out my thin defense. In the sound wave. Taking a deep breath, I turned and leaned on the cooking table, my limbs numb and my palms sweating frantically. After about two minutes, the physical discomfort eased, and the heartbeat returned to normal. I lowered my head, and a small hand suddenly appeared in my line of sight, gently tugging at my waist. As soon as I looked up, I saw Song Mo staring at me with a worried look on his face, with a small pimple between his brows. I'm fine. I gave him a weak smile. He looked at me for a while, then turned away suddenly and came back quickly, holding a tablet in his hand. I didn't know what he was going to do and looked at him puzzled. His fingers were skillful in swiping and pulling, and after a while, I heard my own voice coming from the device. Tame me. I'm just one of thousands of foxes. I was stunned for a moment, and when I got close to him, I found that he actually had all my live video recordings on his tablet. You, have been watching my stream. Song Mo nodded shyly, pointed to the video of the little prince, and opened his mouth, I like it. This was the first time I heard him speak, his voice was soft and thin, as young as a ball of soft cotton candy. Whether it was the fact that he opened his mouth to speak, or the fact that he watched my live broadcast, I was a little shocked. The shock even diluted the excitement I had just received from the live broadcast accident. I suddenly thought, then you were in the mall that day, because you recognized my voice and followed me. Song Mo hesitated for a moment, then looked away with a guilty conscience, looked back at me, and finally nodded very slightly under my burning stare. Miss Nanny died wrong. Sighed, I stretched out my hand to squeeze his tender little face, and warned, you can't run around like this in the future, you've only heard my voice on the internet, and I don't even look like me. I know, what if I recognize the wrong person? And even if I recognize the right person, what if I'm a bad person? Hmm. Song Mo's face was deformed by my pulling, and he opened his and white eyes ignorantly, and nodded heavily. It looked like a harmless puppy, and for a moment I even had the illusion that a miniature version of Song Bei Lao was looking at me. Song Bei Lao's son, how can he not be like him? Good boy. I rubbed his cheeks in reward. I promised to make cupcakes for Song Mo, so naturally I can't break my promise. Fortunately, there is no trouble. Pour the mixed batter into the mold, put it in the oven, wait for 15 minutes, and the soft sponge cake will be out of the oven. I squeezed a layer of buttercream on the surface, and decorated it with the various colored flowers that I just made. In no time, a beautiful set of cupcakes was ready. Song Mo excitedly chose one of them, and after watching it for a long time, he was reluctant to eat it. Eat it, there's a lot more. If you don't eat it, it will spoil after two days. Listen to me, he just took small bites. His taste was a little fragrant, which made me hungry, so I picked up a small cake and ate it with him. At this moment, there was a noise in the front hall, and I faintly heard the sound of the car engine approaching and far. After a while, according to Sister Nine, Song Bei Lao, who always lived in the city, came in from the outside wearing a suit and appeared in front of us. As he walked, he put his hands behind him, unlocked the bite stopper on his face with his fingerprint code, and threw it on the table next to him. What are you doing? Song Mo and I didn't swallow what was in our mouths, and we each held half a cake in our hands. It wasn't that he didn't see it, but he had to ask a question knowingly. Make, make a cake. I hurriedly swallowed the cake in my mouth, but I choked too quickly, so I rushed to the sink and poured a few handfuls of water before I could swallow it. Wiping her mouth and turning around, I saw Song Bei Lao walking towards me frowning. I was startled and couldn't help but lean back. He stopped abruptly, glanced a little tiredly, and seemed too lazy to make fun of my stupid behavior. He looked at the cake I made, you made it. I'm a little nervous 
but I don't know where the tension comes from. Yes. He picked one at random and brought it to his lips. Instead of opening his mouth immediately, he cocked the tip of his nose and sniffed, as if to confirm whether the thing in front of him was edible. Seconds later, he took a bite on the side of the cake and quickly put it back. Too sweet. He wiped the cream from the corners of his lips with his thumb and gave only one comment. My heart fell back to the same place as the cake. I'll come back to get something, and I'll leave soon. Then he gave me a meaningful, somewhat frivolous smile, you don't have to wait for me at night. That attitude was like treating me a not-so-favorite, but fairly fun toy. He didn't touch the cake again and turned upstairs. When he disappeared completely, I slowly walked to the island, picked up a cup of cake and took a bite. Because it is for children, I obviously added less sugar. Not sweet. I looked at Song Mo stunned, and he said to me again, It's not sweet, Dad is lying. It was rare to say a long sentence. My heart is soft. Although Song Bei Lao is a bastard, his children are very cute. Well, Dad is a liar. I smiled at him. I heard the baby cry and opened my eyes to realize that I was dreaming. I can't even tell if it's a dream or a nightmare. Because Song Mo couldn't communicate well with others, even though he didn't go to school at the age of five, he would have a full schedule of classes six days a week, seven days a week. It's very similar to me. I live stream six days a week and only one day off. However, due to the previous live broadcast accident, I had not yet recovered, so I took two more days off with the platform administrator, so that I could get three days to relax completely. Song Bei Lao's collection of books is very impressive, with four or five meters of walnut bookcases surrounded by walls, neatly stacked, and the books on the top can only be accessed with the help of ladders. Surrounded by a coffee table, also made of walnut. The layout of the entire library is comfortable, heavy, and a little obsessive. So many books all at once made me a little dazzled. I looked over the walls and wanted to find two books and magazines that introduced dessert cakes. But I don't know if it's the reason why Song Bei Lao is not interested in this aspect, but there is very little to watch. Finally I climbed the ladder and started looking up. The long ladder moved between the bookshelves along the slide rails. I didn't find any books on baking, but a photo book called The Meaning of Life caught my attention. I pulled it out from the bookshelf, not wanting the contents inside to fall loose and fall to the ground. I was startled and hurried down to pick it up. Most of them were folded in squares, and one had been unfolded. I picked up the unfolded piece of paper and saw that it was not a postcard or poster that came with the book, but a letter. The handwriting is immature, and there is a precocious maturity beyond the age between the lines. Mom, can you take me away? I don't want to stay here, I don't like this new home. Dad said that the Xia family is his responsibility, so what are we? Are we his victims? I rescued an injured bird yesterday. Xia Yanqi fell ill at night. My father was very angry and threw the bird out. I found its body this morning. I'm so sad, I hate him so much. Mom, please come and see me, I miss you so much. After reading a few paragraphs, I realized that this was a letter song Bei Lao wrote to his mother when he was a child. It's not always good to peep at people's privacy, so instead of looking down, I folded it up and stacked it with a few other letters. Opening that photo book, I found an empty envelope on a page introducing Red Build Acacia. The envelope has been yellowed and has a sense of age. The side with the address on which the recipient is written is covered with a huge return. It must have been unsuccessful. I couldn't help but imagine that the young Song Bei Lao was looking forward to his mother coming to pick him up day by day. After writing several letters without reply, he received his returned letter in hope. He finally realized that the other party may have left without saying goodbye, leaving the place that once could be called home. His letter could not be passed on to anyone, nor could his pain. From then on he gave up the struggle and hid the letters until he even forgot their existence. I don't know if it's because of the recent sudden upgrade to become a father, 
even if Song Beilao is still a big living a smart and unrestrained life, but thinking that he was so helpless and desperate once, I feel sadness in my heart, injustice for him. Parents look down on their children's suffering, it turns out to be true. With a sigh, I put the letter back into the envelope, clipping it back to the original page. Just as he was about to climb the ladder and put the photo album back in place, Song Bei Lao's vague voice suddenly sounded outside the door. Where is Ning Yu? He didn't know who asked me where I was going, and his tone was very bad. Okay, looks like in the library. I was apprehensive, I heard the footsteps approaching, and in a panic, I put the photo album in my hand on the bookshelf. As soon as it was finished, the door of the library was pushed open, and Song Bei Lao appeared in front of me in anger. I supported the bookshelf and took two steps back. Song Bei Lao was in a hurry to see me, but he stopped talking when he saw me. He held a tablet computer in his hand, looked at me with a sullen face for a moment, turned his steps to sit on the sofa, and threw the tablet on the coffee table. The screen lit up because of his movements, he sat there loosely, resting his chin in one hand and pointing his index finger on the side of his face. Look. He looked at me, and then returned to the tablet. I walked to the coffee table uneasily, bent down and picked up the tablet, looking a little shocked at first glance. Surprised, the newlywed wife of Xia Sheng Group President Song Bei Lao is actually Amber Plagiarism Anchor Ning Yu. Song Bei Lao read the title of the report I was reading without hesitation, not only are they shocked, I was also surprised. I've been live streaming for two years, and you didn't say before that I can't have a job. He interrupted me with a sneer, for two years of live broadcast, I haven't shown my face before, but I suddenly showed my face two days ago, and told them that you married an alpha, you have an idea. My heart tightened, and I realized that he thought I was using him to hype himself. No I, it was an accident. It was Song Emo who suddenly ran over. Song Bolao frowned, don't talk about Song Emo. His tone was so severe and cold that I couldn't help shivering, and the voice was a little weaker. I'm a live streamer making cakes, not an entertainment anchor, so there is no need for hype. This is actually not right. Don't they just use me to hype themselves? Now their live broadcast is hot, and Sue Myron's business is booming, and the military medals are half of mine. What's the matter with plagiarizing the anchor? How many stupid things have you done? It's better to tell them all today. I took a step back in fright, followed by Song Bei Lao's unstoppable command. Sit down. My eyelids jumped, I took a big step, and sat down on the single sofa next to me. The only dares to take a side, or jump up and escape anytime, anywhere. That's it. With my hands on my knees, I lowered my eyes and stared at the nails of my thumbs, recalling what happened two years ago. Xiang Ping will hate me, but now that I think about it, there is a trace. As Master's only son, he is not recognized by Master. Master compares me with him all day long, reprimands him for not being as good as me, and even wants to hand over Su Myron to me by matching us. Being a beta is already hard enough, and he has to be stomped and rubbed under my feet by me, who is also a beta. Instead of erupting in depression, he will pervert in depression. So he's perverted. At that time, it was during the registration period for the French International Cake Competition. He was unwilling to be cured, saying that he had enough to live, and that he was going to find his wife. The only people who couldn't be relieved were our disciples. I sat beside his hospital bed, held his hand, and said that I must bring the trophy back, honor my teacher and help my brother manage Sue Myron, so that he can rest assured. In the beginning, I swore that I could always do it, but who would have thought that all these promises would be broken in the end? There are two contestants in one group, one main and one auxiliary. Xiang Ping and I will go to France to compete. After getting the question on the first day, the organizing committee asked all the contestants to go back and prepare. It took two days to complete the initial conception and general components, and on the third day, they went to the competition site to assemble. 
It is a cake contest, but it is not the taste, but the shape and creativity. The contestants showed their magical powers and applied their skills, just to make the works appear more perfect and vivid, to impress the judges, and to come out on top in the competition. I spent a day thinking about the shape of the cake, the theme was ocean, I told Xiang Ping that I wanted to make a dragon palace, inspired by traditional masterpieces. Xiang Ping was surprised for a moment, and quickly asked me for a specific idea, and also asked me to draw a sketch. It is, the main body is this, the dragon head. Then the dragon head is broken in half, and at the broken horn, the great sage monkey king in armor and holding a golden hoop is sitting there majestic, his at the foot, where the faucet breaks open, there are exquisite pavilions, shrimp soldiers and crabs will flee everywhere, coral and seaweed drift with the waves. His uncharacteristically positive attitude made me think that it was master's dying that stimulated him, but I never imagined that it was Chong Xing's beauty plan that stimulated him. Chong Xing's parents are well-known gourmets in China, and his grandfather is a five-star pastry chef who has won numerous awards. He inherited his ancestral business and has always attracted much attention. When we were in China, the two of us participated in the competition together. One of the judges was an old friend of Grandpa Chong Xing's, who gave Chong Xing's almost full marks for every result. In the end he got the gold medal and I got the silver medal. At the award ceremony, another judge awarded him the award, and he bluntly said that his score was inflated and he should not have won the gold, but for Teacher Chang's sake, he still gave it to the champion. I hope that he will hone his skills well in the future and not live up to everyone's expectations. When I arrived, the other party patted me on the shoulder and said I was a pity. This judge may have wanted to beat Chang Zing's at first, hoping that he would not be arrogant, but he beat him so hard that his face was swollen. After stepping down from the stage, Chong Xing's threw the medal and left with a stinky face. I don't have much intersection with him, and the only thing that can make him hate me is this opportunity. On the third day, we carried out the final assembly and details on the ring stage, and the giant screen overhead broadcasted the completion of each contestant in real time. I have nothing else to do, I just want to complete my dragon palace as soon as possible ignoring the increasingly noisy auditorium. Finally, I couldn't ignore the booze. The judges came to the stage and asked me to step down first to cooperate with the investigation. Cooperate with the investigation? What happened? The judges frowned, looking at my expression full of regret and disappointment. A contestant reported that you copied his work. My mind was empty, and there was no response for a few seconds and I had no idea what the other party was saying. Until the judge pointed the other way and let me look back. I turned around and looked blankly in the direction he was pointing. I saw my dragon palace at a glance, and the degree of completion is higher than the one I have on hand. Standing behind that perfect work, Chong Xing stared at me with cold and disgust, as if he were watching a shameless thief. I turned around and looked at Xiang Ping next to me in disbelief. Junior brother, turn back to the shore. Xiang Ping may also have a guilty conscience, don't look at me, and play the show of regret and master brother there, I know you want to win, but you can't use this kind of crooked way. Method. He even had the face to teach me. Why? I asked him in a husky voice. He not only failed my trust in him, but also failed master's teaching for so many years. Master is still lying in the hospital waiting for us to return home, but what has he done? He joined others to steal my ideas and then framed me? I don't understand, I really don't understand why he does this. Faced with my question, Xiang Ping never answered or looked at me. Mr. Ning, please step down first. Seeing that I didn't move, the judges urged me, and the security guard on the side stepped forward and pulled my arm. I was forcibly taken off the stage by them, Xiang Ping finally looked at me, but he remained indifferent and watched from the sidelines. I opened my mouth and wanted to ask him again, but he took a step away from him, took a deep breath, and suddenly bowed solemnly to the audience. Sorry, he said. Like I was guilty, 
like I was the shameful copyist. Why did he apologize? This act completely tore the sanity string in my mind. I broke free from the shackles of the judges, rushed up and punched Xiang Ping, knocking him to the ground. I wanted to throw a second punch, but the deafening boos from the audience caught my hands and feet. They told me to off and called me a copycat. Without judgment, I am already a sinner. I looked at the crowded audience under the stage, I was exhausted physically and mentally, and there was no way to advance or retreat. The defense was drowned out in the noise, no one believed me innocent, I became a trash that everyone shouted and beat, was disqualified from the competition, and expelled from the competition venue. Chong Zings won the final championship with my work. Not long after returning to China, I received a penalty letter from the Baker's Association. They regret to inform me that my Baker license has been revoked due to the bad influence I have had at international events. If any Beta says that he has not suffered any unfair treatment, then he must be the darling of God. The third encounter with Song Bei Lao was on a sunset afternoon. At that time, my situation was a little embarrassing. Not only was I surrounded by a group of boring AO in a remote alley, but they also tried to take off my pants and wanted to personally identify the difference between Beta, Alpha, and Omega. There are mannequins of ABO3 blood and six genders in the biological laboratory. They can go there to see if they want to see it. It really makes no sense for me to take off my clothes. I would rather die than give in, I fought hard and had a violent physical conflict with them. However, I was weak, and was quickly pressed to the ground by them with a bruised face. Seven or eight hands were groping around me at the same time, like giant and sinister spiders, making people chill down the spine. My struggles will only make them more interesting, scolding and begging for mercy. In the past bullying, I have summed up the experience. Don't make a sound, close your eyes, it will be over soon. You guys are so noisy. Suddenly, all the hands that were pulling my clothes stopped there. I slowly opened my eyes, and from the gap between my legs, I saw someone walking towards this side. Just by looking at those legs, you can imagine how tall the person is. It's Song Beilao. Someone exclaimed in a low voice. It was him again, and I was a little surprised. Song Bei Lao slowly approached me from the back of the crowd, I was blocked by someone, I could only hear his voice, but could not see his person. No one told you, is this my sight? He seemed to have just woken up, and his voice was a little hoarse in addition to the usual laziness. The crowd was silent for a moment, and then a representative was elected to negotiate with the other party. Senior, I'm really sorry. We just borrowed your place for a while, and we'll leave soon. The man smiled flatteringly and walked towards Song Bei Lao. I don't know what he did to annoy Song Bei Lao during the period. I only heard a muffled sound of a hard object hitting my body, accompanied by a scream, and the next second, there was another limp in my field of vision. The alpha who kept humming on the ground. What? Song Bei Lao sounded in disgust. Did I say you could touch me? Everyone was blinded by his unexpected hand, and all froze in place. If it wasn't for my embarrassment at the time, I would have wanted to applaud him. Cowardly, he hurriedly fled the scene with his companions on his back. After the pressure on my back disappeared, I struggled to get up from the ground, and just as I stood up, out of the corner of my eyes, I caught a glimpse of Song Bei Lao walking towards me sloppily. Thank you. I just spit out a word, and a huge force stepped on my back, stomping me down again. My face hit the ground, my head was stunned, and I couldn't find the north. Turning his head and glaring at Song Bei Lao behind him, he looked at me like he was looking at a pool of moldy rotten meat. Say you're not convinced, even if I have the beta gene in my body, I'm ten thousand times stronger than you. Mercy this is not the place for a waste like you to come, get out of here. I scratched the ground with my fingers and felt that I should refute something, but I couldn't say a word. He was on top and I was crawling on the ground. In his eyes, I was indeed a waste. But I'm still not convinced. Since then, 
I have started to become a monk and compete with this place that Song Beilao said is not suitable for me. I tried my best to keep up with the course, study without food, to prove Song Beilao wrong and to prove that I can adapt to this place too. Unfortunately, I still failed and ended my studies in the most embarrassing manner. After meeting Master, I thought I could finally change my fate and stop being a trash in Song Beilao's eyes, but in the end, nothing changed. The license has been revoked, which means I am no longer a baker. The dreams that I once had, those rhetorical rants, are all shattered, and I don't know what else I can do. During that time, I was very decadent every day, and I didn't want to go out to meet people, and I didn't like to talk. Liang Kaiu Yang saw it in his eyes, worried that I would be depressed if I went on like this, and always forced me to go shopping, let me watch movies with him, and even invited me to do a live broadcast together, which solved the problem of food and clothing for me. I have been in amber for two years, my face has never appeared on the camera, and the live broadcast is also tepid. Relying on Liang Kaiu Yang's help in his live broadcast, I managed to get into the top 10 of food anchors. I don't have much ambition and am quite satisfied with this state. But a sudden revelation a few years ago completely broke the peaceful life I wanted to maintain. I feel cheated, so you are such a person. Get out of the amber. Plagiarism be damned. The nightmare of two years ago seems to be repeating again, only this time it is replaced by a more straightforward cyber violence. I wrote a short statement in my amber space. It probably means that I did disrupt the order of the competition and turned violent towards others. The association's punishment decided that I had no complaints and accepted it completely, but I did not approve of my plagiarism accusation. How many people saw it, I don't know. After that, I took a full two-week break. When the live broadcast resumed, the number of subscribers had dropped from 2,000 to 3,000 to more than 100. In the past two weeks while I waited for the public opinion to subside, Chong Xing started a high-profile live broadcast on Amber as the champion of the international competition. Become a reservoir dog. This is really too coincidental, from picking up my identity as a plagiarist to increase the topic, to Chong Xing's entering Amber as a benevolent victim, one by one time point the connection is so tight that I can feel wrong no matter how stupid I am. I'm like this they still don't want to let me go, they want to squeeze my last bit of use value, it's a pity to be a baker. And then you just let them go. I was startled and looked up at Song Beilao. His posture was no different from the previous one, and his expression was still the same cold and angry look, but the frown between his brows was tighter. I have no evidence. The draft was also stolen by Xiang Ping who would believe me even if I plead guilty for myself and have no evidence. Song Beilao stared straight at me, closed his eyes for a long time, and let out a long breath from his nose. You're as good as ever. Compared to this, my voice was calm, I tried to resist, but unfortunately I failed. Whether it's a beta, trying to make some achievements, or being framed for plagiarism. I was forced into heat in the equipment room wasn't that what I was doing. I finally made a syllable, but got stuck again. What are you? Song Beilao slowly restrained his smile, have you never done it? At this moment, Song Beilao overlapped with those who were clamoring for me to get out on the court, and who found me guilty from the bottom of their hearts. Have you not done it? I didn't. How do you prove it? What? How do you prove your innocence? But I didn't. You must prove. I haven't done it, why do I need to prove it? I didn't. The words were pale and weak, and I didn't know what else to say. At this moment, there was a commotion outside the door, and the sound of footsteps came quickly. Sir, the young master is sick. Sister-in-law Nine knocked on the door, but did not come in. I haven't recovered yet. Song Bei Lao stood up and walked out without looking at me. Thinking that something might have happened to Song Mo, I didn't care about anything else and went after Song Bei Lao. Song Mo was taking piano lessons. According to the female teacher who taught him, 
he suddenly started coughing and was wheezing very badly. She didn't see well, so she went downstairs to find other people. The servants of the Song family knew about Song Mo's physical condition. Sister Ju ordered someone to bring a paper bag as soon as possible, and opened the door and window. When Song Mo's cough was not so bad, she went back to find Song Bei Luo. When we arrived, Song Mo had already been carried to the bed, his face was pale and his spirits looked poor. Song Bei Lao sat beside the bed, put his palm to measure the temperature on his forehead, and asked, Is it still uncomfortable? Song Mo shook his head slightly. Luo Minbei has been notified, she will be here soon. Facing his sick son, Song Bei Lao's tone was only a little milder than usual. Song Mo pursed her lips and pulled the quilt up to cover the area below her eyes, looking very reluctant. I stood behind Song Bei Lao, probably at the end of the bed, and didn't dare to rush over without Song Bei Lao's greeting. Seeing Song Mo turn his eyes to me, thinking that the child needs to be appeased at this time, he hurriedly wrinkled his nose at him, showing a somewhat funny expression. His eyes were slightly curved, like a smile. I also laughed silently, and was about to make another face when Song Bei Lao suddenly looked back at me. I froze there for a moment, and at a loss, let the five senses return to their original positions, and then moved to the side with a light cough, and stood directly at the corner of the wall. The Luo Menbei in Song Bei Lao's mouth arrived quickly, wearing a white lab coat and carrying a medicine box, as I thought it was a doctor. She wears a pair of gold-rimmed glasses on her face, a thin dangling chain extends to the back of her neck, and the bite stop is in the style of a dust mask. Finally, she recovered the quilt for Song Mo, stood up and said to Song Bei Lao, No big problem, spring is always easier to induce asthma. If you are worried, I will live here. One night, look again. Song Bei Lao glanced at Song Mo, who couldn't keep his eyes open on the bed, nodded and said, Excuse me. Then he looked at me again, and his attitude changed sharply, Let Sister Nine prepare the guest room. In a hurry, I turned around and walked out the door. Sister-in-law Ju was also very happy when she heard that Luo Menbei was going to stay, and said that she felt relieved when the other party was there. Only after she said it did I know that Luo Menbei was already an authority on the research on ABO type 3 blood and C20 virus at a young age. And she is also Song Bei Lao's cousin, a direct descendant of the Luo family.